that. So I'll st I'll start recording now and I'll stop the stream. So bye everyone. This will get uploaded probably tomorrow. Sorry, part two later. And goodbye. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so um I yeah. That lovely tweet earlier. Ah, uh, sorry. Um, <laughs> Your well, tweet is ruined. Yeah, and when we do the Cirque one, maybe I should someone else can host, so I don't have to host and live stream and you know run roll 20 all on my processor it doesn't seem to like it uh, in certain situations i think that dynamic lighting yeah. but anyway back to the game all right so yeah um uh, holly will i'll have a meeting and talk about Whatever. So <clears throat> sure. Take your time. The water, busy girl. Okay. And just do studio mode. Also turn off YouTube. Now. <laughs> okay, let's see. <laughs> All right. So yes, I can finally see it's, you. It's the murder of Camp the murderer of Camp Clearwater. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Yeah, I can't even interact with you all now that we're running live. I don't know what it is. Let's save our DM. Can I ask, and I, I should have clarified this. This is a camp for, like... Grown-ups. For right now. There's no kids here. Teens, right? Not, like, little kids. No, no, no. Yeah, that's more the summer camp. This yeah. is an open camp okay. for grown-ups, and it's not even really open yet. Yes. Uh, okay. Yes. Good, so good, they're getting good, good, it, good. they're setting it up for it. So it's like counselors and the groundkeeper and you know, a couple other people around. Um, I'm, so Alice would like to show you. Did y'all hear what she said? Do. All right, go in that direction. Head go. south. <laughs> Head south. <laughs> what? Roll 20 is not behaving for me either. Roll 20? Yeah. yeah, I tried to move my token and decided it was going to scroll instead. If you watch any of the streams where I'm playing and you hear me go, Oh no, roll 20, why? Yeah, it's like, like we're not even anymore, and it's still a nightmare to work. Yes. But I was just on my own before. I think for y'all. Yeah, no. she's in and out. Yeah, this is this is awful. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. Hey, can you see everything now? I'm just wondering. Can... Yes. See, the thing is, it's supposed to be played in the dark. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's let's keep going a little bit and see how it goes. Maybe it's just a roll okay. twenty thing. Um, yes, yeah, so Alice is going to. Oh, see, that's all right. Some of this is going to be theater of the mind, I guess. Um, yes, yeah, so Alice is uh, shows you to run to the front, 
she walks you up here and says, uh, yeah, y'all can go right up in and uh, pick out your own pick out your own rooms, anything you want here. Um, you can stay if you want to all bunk together. Um, there's some rooms that have four beds each, and if, if you want to take your own, um, there's a couple yeah. singles as well, and then there's one double, so. Mm. And the others uh, seem to start to make um, bring out like a picnic lunch and sit around the campfire. So you guys can go, um, can you see into the building? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm stepping into the building and I'm sort of checking out the different rooms. Yeah. Uh, so it's pretty much what it says on the map. It does not let me get into the building. Ah, hold on one second. Let me see if that's We're uh... locked out. No. No, no. Um, it might be a dynamic lighting thing here. So I just have uh, to pull it out the well, way. If D seems to have decided, I'm only allowed to go onto the other map. Which other map? The one that's still got the black still. <laughs> it's just yeah. take. Well, 20 is having it one of those days. Oh no. Is it better now? Or is it still black for you? I mean, I can see everything. It's just, it's, mm -hmm. just... it's the cellar. Okay. It seems more well, twenty wants me to go to the cellar, which is why I'm suddenly at the bottom. See, you should. Okay, come on, take it. Move. I want to move this over. Oh, there we go. Twenty. Me oh, I got in. All right. Yeah. yeah. There you go. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> ah, there we go. The true horror true is horror. twenty. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We solved it. That's the mystery. Yes. So yeah, you walk in, and there's a very comfortable-looking um, area here. And uh, is that like a some sort of, I guess, uh, seating, relaxing area? Uh, tables. Um, there's an indoor dining table too inside. You can see, and um, adding off into what appears to be a kitchen. And there are a series of rooms around you. Ooh. Do you two like the double bits? I mean, it doesn't matter to me. Would you feel safer to sleep in one safe space, or does it matter to you? Yeah, because some of these rooms have more than two beds, so we could all technically share a room. And that way it would be easier for us to conjugate, congregate and uh, plan at night if we wanted to. If that is your preference, I have no objection. I won't object either. Um, oh, wait. Then we'll take one of these rooms. Then, Oop. Mm hmm Yep. All of the rooms are. When you walk in, they are you know tidy and neat. Beds are made up. Um, there might be a little bit of dust. They might not dust every day in here, but uh, you know you just kind of take out a clean cloth and all it all flies away. Dust, dust, dust. Mm hmm. Drop the thunder wave, get all the dust gone quickly. Dust be gone, I banish thee. Mm. So, uh, Felita takes um, the one of the corner beds and uh, drops Lenore into one of the beds as well. Okay. That's Lenore's bed. <laughs> Lenore gets her own bed. Yes. Alright. Okay, there we go. I am now in the room. It's just going to drop okay. off the viol or whichever bed isn't taken by the others. Mm hmm. Okay. So, as you guys are putting your bags, oh, sorry, as you all are putting your bags down here, Alice saying, um, Tansy, um, Felida, uh, uh, Gwen, um, grubs on whenever you're ready. We've got some uh, tasty sandwiches waiting out here for you. <laughs> 
what I'm about to say is completely out of character, but this is the moment where someone dies. Because <laughs> there's always going to be a first victim before the mystery starts. <laughs> so one of them sandwiches is poison. Oh, Tansy. You know, I haven't felt so close to you before, but... <laughs> <laughs> now I feel like you really get me. <laughs> well, you know, I have a love of mystery and true crime, you know. <laughs> mm. I'm guessing you read a lot of books as well. I do. Kind of comes with the whole schooling. Yeah. But I read the books that my teachers told me not to read, so... Well, I suppose uh, if we're all going to play Russian roulette by sandwich, we should get on with it. Let's go. <laughs> I'd ask what Russian roulette is, but I probably don't want to know right now. <laughs> probably has something to do with balls. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> so we come up and... Um... And uh, Bill's like, hey, dude, yeah, so, um, come on over, we got a, um, we've got, like, an egg salad filling, and we've got, like, a chicken salad filling, and then we've just got, like, some vegetables and stuff with, uh, some mustard, and, um, yeah, there's some, like, uh, fresh-baked bread, um, that was, Marcy made that today, so, you know, help yourselves, dude. <laughs> I suppose I shall have the chicken. I like meat. <laughs> I was like, yeah, help yourself. Um, there's a spoon right there. Uh, don't, you know, like touch anything to your, you know, don't touch it only to the bread, you know. Uh, we're trying to practice hygiene. Um, but yeah, help yourself. Take as much as you want. Then come over here, sit by the campfire. We'll tell you all about the camp. Get to know you a little I'm bit better. Gonna fix, I'm going to fix a veggie one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for my own personal reasons. Yeah. And the bread is um, it is it feels or it's still a little bit warm to the touch, almost like it's the dough is still a little like um, soft from coming out of the oven when you cut it with the knife. Um, it kind of like rips the the crust and uh, just almost falls like you have to almost tears it more than cuts it because it's still so, a little too warm maybe to be cut. So yeah, y'all. Uh, mm -hmm. Alita just sort of uh, doesn't really bother with the bread. She just eats the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, aren't you Savage. hungry one? <laughs> what would Gwen get? She's just like, yes, I'm on a keto diet. <laughs> we'll go with the chicken salad as well. All right. And he's definitely not passing up on that bread. Oh yeah, bread bread is amazing. So as you all sort of gather around uh, the campfire, which is just like a little glowing thing, more like for getting a, a little cup of like post-lunch coffee, hot, hot enough, um, boiling, but not a big fire. Um, Alice says, well, yeah, so um, so we're so happy to have you. Um, so um, it, when it comes to the, the camp, um, we have a whole bunch of different things that need to get done, and um, maybe what's easiest if um, each of us tell you kind of what we're in charge of um, and where we'd be going in the camp, you can kind of get an idea of the layout. She sort of pulls out from out of her uh, pocket a camp map, which you can see right here. And can you see that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ooh, no dynamic lighting needed. Um, right. So um, Alice says, well, okay, so a little bit about how it's laid out is, um, so this is us right here. She points to the cabin. She said all of the, um, the B land marks are the big cabins. Those are the nicer ones. Um, that's, that tends to be rented out more year round. You know, we get like people up here from Waterdeep who want to do kind of like glamping, but they don't want to like, you know, live in a tent. So we have um, these kinds of cabins up here for those kinds of people. And uh, then also, she kind of points down here. She's like, that that's where the main docks are. There's a couple um, buildings down there as well, like um, office buildings and um, a couple other warehouses and things. And then in terms of supplies, um, we actually have uh, some like 
oh, I guess you say general market kind of supplies for the tourists when they come and stay, whatever else. So, um, you know, um, and also if people want to go out in the woods, and we have um, some arms out there as well. People can purchase some swords and things. So, you know, if, if y'all ever need anything just practical, don't worry about running to town. You know, we, um, you can either be out at <clears throat> the warehouse one or warehouse two and get pretty much whatever you need. Um, oh, well, we also keep um, a first aid kit down there by the docks because, you know, people go out and step on stones, whatever, as well. Um, the letter C's are for all of the campsites. These are for people who want to come, you know, just like have their own place in the woods to sleep under the stars and all that kind of stuff. Um, we've got those dotted around the camps. And, um, oh, what else? Oh, we got lumber yards. There's um, that kind of came with the camp. I don't know exactly what industry, but they're all friendly. Uh, they're friendly enough out there. Um, there's, come, there's like a, a four a person who's out there. That's a, a big JD. They They run things out there. They got a couple workers, but we don't really see them too much. Um, what else is, oh, oh, and then, um, yeah, the underground caves. Uh, some people like to go checking the caves out, but we try to keep the, you know, for insurance reasons, try to keep people out of there. So, uh, most of that's like a no-go area. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much the camp. So, um, when it comes to stuff that needs being doing, uh, uh, I don't know what your skills are, but, uh, I could use some help, um, transferring some supplies um i need supplies moved from the that shed area at w2 down to the cabin at b7 and um that's actually where we've got um one of our campers staying oh no 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 uh, yeah we need to get some um things dropped off down there and um so anyone who wants to help me move supplies um we got a cart too but it's going to take a long time some strong people so, um, Bill, how about you? What are you doing? Bill, um, looks up and he kind of, like, flicks his hair. And he's got this sort of brown hair out of his <laughs> eye. Out of his eyes. And like, well, dude, you know, um, uh, I'm, in, I'm Mr. Spick and Span. Uh, so, um, we're going to be in charge of, uh, cleaning the cabins. Uh, we're going to be heading down to S4. And he's, he's too Southern. He's got to be more Californian. Um, <laughs> Gotta be more. Hey, dude. Ooh, make, it, make it southern. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we're gonna go down there. We're gonna get get it all spick and span, and uh, get it all tidy for everybody. Um, there's a there's kind of a lot to do. So it'll be super super cool if you guys could like join me. Um, Brenda pipes up next, and she's like, "Oh, hi." I'm Brenda. Uh, we met before when you, you got here, and um, I'm um, the building inspector, so I was just wondering if uh, maybe someone would want to come along with me. And uh, we have to go through and look at some of the physical things in the buildings, make sure that they're, you know, um, still up to safety code and there haven't been any animals breaking in. Um, yeah, so we just need to walk around and check the status of the various buildings. Um, so if you want to like, get to know the camp, um, you can come and hang out with me. Um, uh, and she's like, uh, Ned, Ned, you go next. And Ned's just, um, no, I'm sorry, it's Jack. It's Jack who's going to go next. Uh, he's like, yeah, so Jack kind of, like, doesn't really make eye contact. He's eating his food and kind of, like, barely finishes a chewing before he starts talking. And Yeah, I've got a hole in my boat down to the dock area. Really be helpful. One of you guys could come along and Give me a hand with a boat so we can start taking people out next week, you know. So, if you want to do that. Marcy, why don't you say something? Marcy um, uh, looks at, at you. She's got, you know, sort of bright eyes and red hair, and uh, and she opens her mouth, and... Oh, she sounds like very... Me. <laughs> like Well, I have to do inventory for the, the camping gear in the work shed uh, near uh, W4. And there were some bear attacks in that area um, a couple, like, last week. And, yeah, it would really make me feel a lot better if you could come along um, with me out there um, to check the inventory and make sure there's no problems. That's about I it. I shall volunteer for that. Oh, awesome. Oh, I'm so happy. 
And mm -hmm. and Ned, I think you're the only one left. And uh, uh, Ned too is kind of taciturn, a bit like Jack, but um, like well, I gotta. I don't know. There's a groundskeeper here in the camp. Name is Wilbur Coates. Old Mister Coates, call him, and he's by himself in the old fisherman's shack at the east end of the lake. Uh, Alice didn't tell you about that one, but that's the F on there. Mostly people should kind of stay away from that. You know, it's like where he lives. But I want to make sure before the summer that he has everything he needs. And to be honest, old Mr. Coates can talk it like paint off a wall. That guy when he gets going and one of you could come along with be really helpful. Like, pull me out of the conversation, you know, remind me that I've got duties back at the main camp. So that'd be really helpful for me. Hmm. Suppose I can head out that way. Ned looks up and says, "Yeah, thanks, Gwen. Appreciate that. Appreciate that a lot." And then now, uh, and I've... I think I can help Brenda. All right, Brenda. Oh, 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 oh yes, so very excited, Brenda. Oh, she's so happy. Gonna check all the buildings. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. I so. hope she got the special sandwich. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so sorry. Remind me. Um. Okay. Brenda is Tansy is gonna go with Brenda. And yes. um, you're going to go with Ned the Gwen. Mm -hmm. And I'm going with Marcy. You're going with Marcy. All right. Um, and that is... I heard bear Bonita. attacks, and I was all there. <laughs> yes. I, I, I knew that's where you would go. <laughs> as soon as I saw... As soon as I heard bear attacks, I was like, I think I know which way she's going. <laughs> <laughs> yes so um yeah alice is uh is like oh well that's fantastic um do appreciate your help and yeah um yeah you can just finish up your lunch um getting about to be uh sort of two o'clock or so so um yeah we should be able to get a couple like half a day of work in before it all um before we get to the end of the day it'll be just so helpful i do appreciate it so much um yes so, um, at this point, like, they kind of, like, collect up the, the dishes and the cutlery and whatnot. And, um, you guys had put all of your things into the, your rooms? Left of my own. Oh, yes. um. I'm taking my weapons. I, I, there's no way I would have <laughs> left Lenore. Oh, okay, so she, Lenore is with <laughs> I, you. All right, I, would, okay. I wouldn't have left my wand. And, um, I'd probably go back for my pack. Okay. So, um, just like my, you know, I always have my daggers on me, and I'd go back and get big blammy and eh, probably a couple just gear in case bears. Things. Yes, just in case bears. Exactly. <laughs> um. Yes. So, uh, anyone else want to fetch anything, or what are you kind of like? Yeah. What are you um, doing? I'm definitely, I'm definitely gonna be already wearing my boots of false tracks, and oh, I, I have always those have too. my <laughs> okay. Ooh, twinsies, and I have my horn of silent alarm. So okay. Yeah, right. I have horn of silent alarm and message, so I can like warn people in two different ways. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. All right, so um, after lunch, yes, so this is the way that this works, is that for every square here on the big map, it takes you a minute to, to get there and back. So, um, yeah, Ned, you will, uh, it heads off with uh, Gwyn, sorry. So if you could, uh, Gwyn, uh, count how many squares it's going to take you to get to location F. Because, um, you're about to go, yes. So. Two. two. Oh, yeah, uh, Deborah. Um, I'm sorry, Brenda, not Deborah. Yes. So, um, you and Brenda, Tansy, 
head yes. off. She's very excited. Um, and she gets you guys um, start to head off. And she says, well, I'll tell you what. I think, you know, if we have to check all the buildings, I think it's fine to walk to an area together. But then um, maybe we should just kind of split up and cover more territory and get through it a little bit more. I think um, then we'll get back faster and we can get more done. How does that sound? That sounds great. Okay. And in the back of her head, she, in the back of her head, she's gonna think, "Yeah, that means I can snoop around without you seeing me." <laughs> <laughs> okay. So from B four here. Cunning. Yes. Um, she's. That's, that's why I picked this one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. She wants to um, get started uh, with um, heading over to yes, basically this area over here. So if you want to kind of walk out, then how long it's going to take you to walk whatever yeah, buildings. Like this way. Mm -hmm. Should I, do we follow along the tracks or can we just Yeah, 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 you can, you can follow. Well, I mean, if you want to cut through the woods, sure. Yeah, you can definitely cut through the woods. All right. Oh, cool. And Felita, you and Marcy. Mm -hmm. Marcy. Oh my God. Um... Yeah, you are heading over to not to do that one, not to do that one. Oh, take inventory, right? Oh, so you and Marcy head over to area W four. Okay, so if you want to kind of calculate, I'm having. I just I, is I, it hmm? um is it W four itself or is it the it's the building the little, next to it? It's, that's eleven squares. Okay, so um, 11 minutes to get there. Yeah, I counted seven. <laughs> well, it depends on, I guess you do shortcuts, or maybe, I don't know. Yeah. Just cut through the forest. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, yours is 11. How much is yours? Um, sorry, um, uh, Tansy? Uh, seven. Okay. Here, it's Tansy, seven. And Gwyn? I count it 12 to 15, depending how much we stick to the path. So, okay. 15. 15. All right, so Tansy, yours went the fastest. So, yeah, you and Brenda yeah. split up. You have a look, and um, basically, like, the, the buildings are an okay, Nick. Like, some of them have more problems than others, mm -hmm. but at least from the outside, without going into the buildings, it's just supposed to be, like, check the rain gutters, um, check to see if the porch is broken through at all, see if there's any broken windows, any sort of things. Um, the next area that she wants to go check out is um, to head over to B7 and then do the C2 campground. Oh, okay. All right. I'm starting here. <clears throat> yep. Yep. Okay. One, two. Three. And for you, um, Felida, you and Marcy head over. She talks way too much. She talks. She, <laughs> she just talks way. She's just too excited about everything. And she talks. Um, I'll try to direct her talk to interesting things. Like... Oh, okay. Yeah. So, I. It's unfortunate that Steve had to leave so abruptly. Is he often gone? Oh, you know, um, there are times, you know, like, um, he's mostly here, you know, um, but then there, there are times when he, like, last time we filled up the warehouses, he, he does disappear sometimes for a couple of days at a time, but he says it's always business, and he comes back with full carts of stuff, you know. Well, naturally. Do you know where he goes to get the supplies? No, he doesn't really tell us, you know, a little bit here, a little bit there, you know, doesn't, I think, mm. um, I, you know, I, some of it, uh, maybe he can get locally, but I think some of the stuff, you know, he, he wants to buy in bulk, so, I don't know. I think that's wise. You save money when you buy in large quantities. Yeah, but then you have to move it, and it's so annoying. Oh my god. That is an issue. Yeah. With large quantities. Yeah, I mean, that's why I signed up for doing the inventory, because, like, I didn't want to have to move it. So if I'm counting it, like, I can't be moving it, can I? <laughs> it would seem counterproductive to do that. 
Yeah, right? Oh, okay. Um, oh, here, here, we're coming up on it. Uh, so... Uh, da, 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 da. What kind of security do oh. you have here in case people <laughs> steal? She's like, oh my god, bears! I'm gonna cast <laughs> Speak with Animals on myself. <laughs> okay. It says, oh yeah, so this is actually Alice, but I picked the wrong one. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Um, yes, so if you want to click your token. Oh, you're casting it um, on yourself. Okay, so if you then want to go ahead and just we'll roll initiative to see who. What? Uh, I have a plus five to whatever I roll. Okay. No, it's, it's whispering, but I think you see it. Anyway. Roll 20 is killing me. Okay, I dropped out again, didn't I? Did I drop out again? Uh, I dropped out I, again, didn't I? Where are you? I, I know, can hear my audio? You. Okay. No, I think you've been fine. Okay, so I was talking yeah. and nobody was saying anything back to me. <laughs> I'm sorry, you said you were whispering and I was like, I don't know what she means. Oh, <laughs> it's, it, it's a default <laughs> setting where it basically rolls the DM stuff in, as a whisper. And it's oh, always okay. preset to do that. So, like, this is basically what they got. But even... Oh, I didn't have it clicked. Okay. Well, let me roll <laughs> that again. I thought I had clicked. Yeah, it's the same, basically. All right. All right, so, yeah, you cast a Speak with Animals on yourself. Aren't these asking about the stream? Yeah, you can tell them. I tell them. Tell them that it, Roll20 couldn't do dynamic lighting... Well, no, my computer couldn't do dynamic lighting roll 20 YouTube and host a Google Meet. So you're recording instead of streaming. That's correct. Uh, yes, um, so you have a, a spell cast on you, and uh, they are going to growl and look at you hungrily and start it, like wandering, lumbering towards you, sniffing the air. <laughs> I'm going to say, hello, bears. Are you hungry? Hungry. Hungry. I take out my <laughs> rations, and I'm going to um, say to Marcy? Yeah, it's Marcy. Mm -hmm. Stop your yapping, and I <laughs> toss them my <laughs> rations. <laughs> All right, so you toss them your rations. Let's see if that is how oh, interesting they're going to find that. You can do a animal handling check, but you can also roll it with advantage because you are enticing them with food. Okay. Food. At least they're not cats. Okay. <gasps> Ten. I'm I, every time animal handling. It, it, it was an oh, eleven. No. The check was an eleven. No. <laughs> so they're like, no. mm, and they just and actually the food no. makes them seem hungrier. Um. Now, perhaps I can get you something more to your liking. All right. They're gonna take their turn and say, "Hungry." You fed them before, so. <laughs> Marcy, do you have anything food-wise on yourself? Um, 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 uh, let me check, let me check. I think I, I think I have some, Cheap things. I think I have some, uh, uh avocado dip. <laughs> All right, let me see. <laughs> um, what am I going to roll to see what kind of, how tasty her snacks are? All right, it'll be just roll a 120. I'll just roll a d20. See, um, how likely is she has a tasty snack on her? Well, she also has similar rations. Okay. Too. Okay. And she's like, here, uh, take them, here. With her turn. Go back to you. I'm like, you're an idiot. And throw them <laughs> more rations. <laughs> All right, so where are you going to throw the rations? Can you ping? I kind of like uh, just throw them right between them. Okay, that seems easy enough. Uh, yeah, they sniff them, but they aren't, uh, they aren't 
looking any like they gobble them up and still look at you. Uh, well, that's all I have on me, but I could go out and get something better and bring it back. All right, that that will be your turn in negotiations. Yeah, yeah they're going to keep lumbering toward you. Hungry. Oh, well, I suppose we'll have to do it the hard way. Okay, Alice is going to scream and run away. <laughs> She's going to officially take the hide action with her turn. So now it's your turn. Uh, It's dark over here, right? In the shade? Yeah, there's shade there. But it's not dark dark. Not night dark, no. It's still like, you've only, like it's a little past like 1.30 now. You guys just had lunch time, I think. Okay. I don't think, because I think I, I went trying to figure out, uh, um, first turn, if you, okay, so we were already in combat, right? Yeah, basically, yeah, like you just, you, you did negotiations your last turn, they kind of lumbered up to you a bit more. Their last turn. Okay. Kind of stalking you. Uh. So. I take out Big Blammy. Okay. Um, I'm for my bonus action. I will cast um Hunter's Mark. Okay. And I will kaboom yep. Big Blammy. Left or right? Uh, this one. Okay. Right. Okay, he's got the hundred. Oh yeah, that's gonna hit. Uh, twelve, and Ooh. plus the hunter's mark is. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got it. New characters. Yeah, <laughs> it's like a new car. Ah, where's the windshield wipers? Uh, it is an extra d six. Okay, roll your extra damage. And I'll also Ooh. say, I really suggest not fucking with me. All right, roll intimidation. With okay. advantage. Because you've sure. just blown them out. They haven't seen that before. All right. Intimidation, not really my big skill, but... Okay. 14. Um... Yeah, I guess wisdom insight. Oh no, no, no! Like no, they they totally believe you, and I'm gonna say this one backs off. One that you hit starts walking away. Um, now let's see what his buddy friend does. Does he also believe you? Nope, nope. He's gonna cut, keep coming at you. This guy. He's gonna move in. And he's going to attempt to s attack you with his claws, because that's what bears do. So he gets a, a claw attack, reaches out to slash at you. Urgh! It's a 24. I'm going to turn off these whispered rolls, because I hate these. Yeah, they, that definitely hits. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me get Claws do. Oh, 13 slashing damage. <sighs> On you. Oh, that, you don't care how uh, you can smell. <laughs> that was me. Um, and then he is going to also attack you with his bite. He's going to crashing into you. But, oh, you completely whiffs that one. Completely missed. And that is his turn. All right. Um, I am going to switch my hunter's mark to him. Okay. And I'm going to... Big blammy again. All right. Blow him away. Uh, well, 16. That's oh, yeah. that's... No, that, no, that was, was wrong. I'm sorry. That's okay. Uh, let's see. Where did it go? Hitting the wrong thing. Okay. Oh. Boom. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> Crit. 
Nice. Dang. Nice. All right. Okay. Yeah. Crit despair. Mm-hmm. 20. 20. Plus a D6. Mark. Uh-huh. 23. Uh, but you get to roll your damage everything on a crit. All your points on a crit are dam are doubled. Or whatever. Oh, okay. So six. Oh, yeah. Oh, do you want to re-roll it? I don't know if you want to just take... You can... I'll let you do it either way. But, I mean, like, it rolled a 13 and a 7. So if you want to... Yeah, okay. So an extra 8. Oh, man. You knocked the crap out of him. He's... He is... Like, you took... A, the shot went... Took off part of the bear's jaw. And it's just, like... Really looking sad now. Like, it's really regretting its life choices. At this point. Mm -hmm. All right. It's turn. Let's see how smart it is. We can figure out self-preservation also with the fact that his buddy ran away. No, I think he's going to come at you one more time. Apparently he's Death Wish Bear. So he is going to come at you first with his claws. Death Wish Bear. Rah! Oof. 24 will hit. Mm -hmm. Six slashing damage. And another bite, although I, I'm going to give him a disadvantage on this one because I just said he doesn't have much of a jaw. So 11, I would take it, does not hit. No. So six slashing damage because you just basically put a shotgun barrel in his face. I mean, he did walk up to you. So. After watching his buddy get blasted. Yes. <laughs> right. <laughs> Alice uh, looks at you and she goes, oh my god, you're bleeding! I made the first aid kit! All right, and that's her turn. <laughs> useful um let's see big blamey again uh let me check yes that will hit yep you can describe how your last blamey does it i um I basically grab him by the ear and I'm say, I'm sorry, you've been a worthy adversary, but ka -chunk. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> and that's it. Oh, Alice walks over. He's like, oh my god, I thought we were goners. You're amazing, but, but you're bleeding. Um, Oh, quick, quick. Uh, we should hurry over, over to the warehouse. Uh, I think there's a couple healing potions there. You could probably have a couple. Very well. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to go over there and get the healing potions. Correct. That was your All right. adventure. Yes. Um, so let's see. Tansy, you and Brenda, oh, you're checking buildings, right? Um, how yes. long did it take you? The next, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Leg? the next set of buildings over here mm -hmm. is 14 squares away. Okay. Right. And, um, yep, after you get down there, the she's like, yeah, um, we should totally split up again. This is working out really well. So, um, I'll take the one if you want to go look in the campsites. It's just through the woods. Um, there's kind of a path there. Uh, you really shouldn't be able to miss it. And you're going to, there's, like, there might even be the smell of an old fire or something. Um, but yeah, um, we'll meet back here. Okie doke. <laughs> so... That's you checking on the on the cabins, and Gwen, you and yes. Ned were I'm heading sleeping. over. Yes, you arrive at the home of old Mister Coates, and what you see when you get there is a a gardener's shack. Um, it's a nice enough house. Um, da -da -da, let me see if there's anything else. Yeah, um, and uh, you get there, and old Mister Coates. Oh. Oh, yeah. oh, I don't know how to do like really old voices. I'll have to practice on this. Um. Oh. Oh. Okay. I can like. Oh, hey there, Sonny. Yeah. Oh, hey, I, I, can, I can only do old Southerner. <laughs> hey there, Ned. How you going? Uh, you're doing pretty well. Why don't you come over here and sit down? Uh, who you brought with you? You brought a new friend. Who I introduce her? Who? Who is this? Who is this? Who is? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Good to fit at your service. Ooh. Gwyndafid? Gwyndafid? Gwyndafid. Oh, the two names. It's not, I thought it was Gwyndafid. all one name. I thought it was Gwyndafid. You said it really fast. Anyway, Ned, 
what, what, what's going on? What's, what's the story? What's the story? Like, oh, Mr. Coates, uh, we wanted to make sure that you had everything you needed for the summer with your tools in the warehouse. Uh, Steve's gone into town to get a couple more things, but just in case there's anything for the late autumn that you need, Mr. Coates is like, oh, yeah, come on in. Come on, give me a gun. Come on, Gwen Defend. Come on in. You sit here. Yeah, I'm going to get you. You want, you want, you want, you want, you want something? <laughs> You want something to drink? I got, I got, I got some water. Uh, I got some, uh, I got some juices, or I got, I got some, I got some that'll make your thirst burn. <laughs> I know what Ned. Ned I'm always wants a whiskey. By the Gwendofid. <laughs> <laughs> I know Ned. He gets always... name wrong. <laughs> <laughs> gets name wrong. Acknowledges that they got the name wrong. Continues to get name wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Height of comedy. So. Oh. Yeah, Ned. Ned always has a whiskey after lunch. He, he uh, when he comes down here, he's a little nipper. Ned kind of looks at you like it's to make the dull the pain of this conversation. What do you what, what do you want there? <laughs> what, what would you like to drink? Uh, fruit juice, if you have one. Oh yeah, I've got I've got apple juice coming up. All right, one whiskey, one apple juice, another whiskey. All right, come on, all right, all right, all right. You guys sit down. I'll be right there. Ned looks at you and goes, "You see what I mean." Don't get him started. Don't let him get started on the first year he arrived at the camp and how long it's been, uh, how much has changed since he's been here. All right? He's uh, a hamstorm coffee. What? <laughs> he's a hamster on coffee. <laughs> For the net, it actually, like, it laughs. He gives a guffaw. He gives a good guffaw. And, and as he do, does, as he as he's laughing, you're trying to catch his breath. Uh, you hear the door slam on the front of the groundskeeper's building. Like, oh, what you laughing? What you laughing about there, there, Ned? All right, here's your whiskey. Uh, yeah, apple juice, apple juice for Gwendolyn, and a whiskey for me. There you go, Ned. A little, a little hair of the dog. Hey, hey, and they kind of clink glasses and they say, oh, Gwendolyn, what what are you doing here? Why are you at Camp Clearwater? Water? I live so as ways down the road, and there's offered the opportunity to come see what the place is all about. Yeah, you're so, a tourist. Let me help out a bit. Yeah, so you're an employee. A tourist. You're, so you're an employee. You're, you're one of my new co workers. Yes. Oh, another co worker. Oh, that's great. I always love when the camp counselors they come in and out of here every time. You know, I've been here so long. I was first here in Camp Clearwater. Well, it was that shut down. It wasn't used to be Camp Clearwater. Clearwater. It used to be an older camp, but then there were a bunch of accidents. They had to shut that down. So then, when they came back, when they 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 hired me because I did a good job despite all the problems that you know with the people going missing, whatever else. I don't, but it was a good job I was doing. And Ned looks at I you. Ask about the accident. <laughs> Pleadingly, <laughs> like. Grr, grr, grr. Yes. So old Mr. Coates continues to talk. And he will. Mr. Coates. Mr. Coates. Yeah, yeah. What is it, Gwendolyn? Ned here just wants to know if you need anything, any tools replaced, anything like that. If we can get that out of the way, you and I can talk. Well, and well, Ned can go about his business. Get that damn boat fixed. Get, 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 get that damn boat fixed so I can go out in the morning fishing. That's about the only thing I need. Right, Ned? Right, Ned? <laughs> kind of elbows him. Ah. Ah, uh, Ned. He doesn't talk much, but he likes my jokes. He smiles on the inside. Yes, I'm sure. Yeah, well, here, so get get comfortable. I'll tell you. I'll, I'll tell you about the the first time I, I I I worked here, and and what this place it used to be just campsites, camps, nothing but campsites. And then they started putting up these fancy buildings, started like getting all these other kind of foofy people in, and it's just ever since then it's just gone corporate, man. It's just been it's just sold out, I swear. Kind of sips his whiskey. It's the aliens I tell you. Sib, you're killing me with this accent. Cut me off, please. <laughs> <laughs> so... No, we want to hear everything. <laughs> so about these accidents, when did they start? Oh, that's over and done with. That was years ago. That was the first time they opened up this camp area. Well, you know, this whole woods. Uh, the loggers and 
and and and other people, you know, foresters and rangers, they always come out here with stories of what they saw in the woods, lights at night, and hearing noises and weird animals. But you know, that's just because they get drunk and they they have to like explain why they didn't come home. Oh, I was too afraid to come out. I was hiding under a bush until the light passed. That kind of crap. So city Ew, folk. Bro. Sorry, I didn't hear you said city folk. Oh, yeah, yeah, they don't know anything about anything about the woods. I mean, it's lucky that more of them don't die every year out here. You know, they go wandering off. Uh, sandals on. Sandals on. Can you believe that? They just have no idea what reality is. Well, they used to live in comfortable lives with their random adventures keeping them safe. Oh, yeah, well, you know, adventurers. Yeah, yeah some good, some bad. Some, some do some good, some bad, but yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. All right, well, I'll see about making sure your boat gets fixed if Ned is busy elsewhere. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ned basically leaps up. So, um, we'll get we'll get right down to, yeah, to the docks. Uh, we'll go talk to Bill, uh, make sure he's taking care of that. And if there's nothing else you need, we just must be getting on, because there are things that need to be done. Oh, you're going so soon! Oh, well, you gotta come back. You gotta come back. Uh, you know, uh, uh, you can come back tonight. You know, come on. I'll tell you the story uh, about the time that I saw an all-white deer uh, out in in the mountains one time. Fascinating. Come on back. See you later, Mister Coates. As uh, you guys are heading off, Ned says, "Well." You know, while I'm here, we're actually pretty close to warehouse number one. And we were looking a little low on torches and candles in the main building. So uh, I, as long as we're here, I'm, I'm going to head down there and go uh, check on pulling up some candles to bring back. Why don't you head over? You, we want to head over the docks. You can. All right. So you're at the docks, I guess. Okay. All right. And then, I think we're just like being near the end. Yep. Sorry. Go ahead. So I'm just counting. Oh, okay. Yep. So, um, Belita, yeah, you and Marcy head over to um the warehouse four. I think. No, mm -hmm. no. Yep, yep. In that in that area, and yes, she is there, and she's able to like go into a shelf and reaches over and hands you. Ah, um, a potion of, uh, a, a basic bitch potion. I'm sorry, just a basic, um, a healing potion. The one. Basic oh, I, I look, potion. is there any other potions there? Yeah, yeah, there's actually, like, a, a stock of, like, a, a, like, herbalist kits and, like, a whole bunch of kits, actually, you can see. Explorer's kit, well, like, you know, like, things in backpacks and other kind of tool kits and... Yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. Um, all right, so I'm going to grab the what is it? I think it's two D four plus four. Yeah, that sounds right. Four plus four. Eleven. Eleven back. Um, yeah, I'm fine with that. So. I say, have you had trouble with bears routinely here? Well, you know, um, uh, there was, I think, there were some complaints that some bears might have gotten into one of the camp, the big cabin buildings. Uh, that's why we were mm -hmm. going to have to go through, and they were going to do some of the checking to see if they could see where bears got in, because we had some reports, but um, normally, no. But uh, I think that the spring, they're waking up and they're hungry, and... Um, you know, we just make really good smelling food down here, you know? Indeed. Well, I tell you what, I feel terrible that you um, got attacked and everything. So, I mean, I'm here. I can do the, I can do the inventory if you want to just head back um, to the cabin and have a rest. It really wouldn't be a problem. No, thank you. Okay. All right, well, then you sit down and I'll do the inventory, all right? I don't want you getting hurt again. With someone like you to protect me, how could I ever get hurt? 
<laughs> you are so brave. I'm going to tell a tale over the campfire tonight. They're not even going to believe how awesome you were. <laughs> You're such yeah. a warrior. Right. Are you kidding? God, she's a <laughs> blithering fool. <laughs> exactly. That's why it's a good ship. <laughs> no, it isn't. It really isn't. <laughs> um, <laughs> So, um, oh, yeah, so sorry. Fel I'm not going to let her just sit me down. I'm going okay. to do, I'm going to check out and I want to see what kind of stuff is there. Yeah. I'm just checking to see. So there's a lot of kits. Is there Absolutely. anything there mm -hmm. that is, um, that I see that strikes me as odd or would be unusually priced or anything? So what it seems to be is almost like they bought out a general store and mm -hmm. shipped it into the warehouse. So mechanics-wise, anything that's like listed in as basic equipment in the DM's guide, so rope, pitons, torches, candles, um, mirrors, you know, like um, a, a couple different kinds of packs are in here, all stacked up rations, clean water. Um, yeah, basically your whole run-of-the-mill kind of like if you were going to go into a shop in a city to get stuff be very equivalent in addition they also in a corner have just some pretty um inexpensive looking not really fancy swords crossbows um, other things for like hunting or defending yourself if you're against a wild animal some daggers um nothing like i said a lot of it looks a little bit used but perfectly serviceable so yeah, this just are sort of stacked up in here, as well as like some you know badminton nets and uh, rackets and other. Like, it's just a general warehouse storage area. Do I um, get a hold? Do I notice anywhere where records or anything like that might be kept? <clears throat> no, there's nothing bureaucratic here. It is purely mm -hmm. seems for like um, for the benefit of counselors who live this far out. To ha instead of having to like go all the way across the camp, so these warehouses are sort of spread out in different directions to um, allow the counselors to sell things to the camp counselors. Okay. No paperwork. Yeah. All right, so you are doing that, having to sniff through the warehouses, looking around, and yes, Tansy, you and Brenda uh, finish up the B seven C two area. And get to the B1 Ooh. area about here, uh, near the sort of eastern, yeah. no, sorry, western side of the lake. And Brenda's like, mm -hmm. um, so, okay, well, you did the last camp round, so I will do the camp round this time if you want to check out B1. And then there's also, um, there's like a, a little shack or something to the south, too. If you want to just have a quick look around that, um, that would be great. Thanks. And she uh, disappears into the woods. <laughs> You go and have a nose around in the building. And I'm going to go snoop. Yes, yes. What would you like to snoop? For free. Oh, just just anything that would that I would think is suspicious or something off. I don't know how to think like you, so you're going to have to be more specific. <laughs> like like anything. Um, I mean, it's your outside cabins in the woods. The the buildings, you know, again seem in fine nick. Um, you know, there's there's no obvious sign of Anything. If you want to be more specific as to what you're looking for, I can tell you whether or not, or at least what you have in mind. Crime. You look. No, you don't see crime. <laughs> looking around, it's getting to be like All a the crime. kind of a getting on in the afternoon, you know. So, it's a generally nice day. Yeah, you know, the, the buildings are you know wooden and look a little bit worn, but otherwise they seem mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Um. So when you head back, at, le at yeah, least yeah, I'm yeah. familiarizing myself with all of the buildings. You are. When you head back to this area, you wait for a while. Which wait. area am I at? Yeah, you're kind of like in this crossroads area. Ah, uh, just waiting for Brenda. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, waiting for Brenda. All right. So I guess we should do the docks quickly here. Uh, yes. And then we're going to move along. So Gwen, you were going to head over to the docks. Yep. 
And when you get there, you are gonna see I think it's Bill. A lot of characters. It's Bill. No, Bill is cleaning oh, the cabins. Oh, who's It's Jack. Oh, it's Jack. Oh, Jack, Mister doesn't say anything. Yeah, Jack looks up. He actually looks pleased to see you. Go, go. You like the water? Water has its advantages. Yeah. Fun things you can do with it. Turn it twice and make sculptures. Ah, oh, great. Well, come on aboard. I'll give you permission to come aboard. He's like more talkative now than he was before. Thanks. Not one for crowds, I take it. So, no, no. I prefer being out in the water. Anyway, here's the problem. He takes you over to a part of the boat where it's got this sort of like rotting area in it and he needs you to help him pull it out in order to uh, get all of the rotted wood out so he can properly patch it. So what I need you to do, it's going to take you two hours, the two of you working on this, and um, let's see how well the two hours go. Give me a strength check. And if are you proficient in carpenter's tools? Nope. Okay, then just do me a strength check. <laughs> Oh, dear. Oh. oh, oh, yeah. You're end up being a little more than he intended. You, you end up ripping up way more wood. The oh, rot no. went. The rot went bad, and so it's gonna take you like an extra four hours now to fix the boat. So we're just gonna have like you're gonna be um in a different time frame than the other ones for a little while. So, can I get another check from you, please? Another strength check. That's wow. a save, but it's the same. Oh, no. Bollocks. No, you guys are there until almost dark. <laughs> Trying to fix it. Uh, I'm rolling bad. <laughs> this poor right. boat. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, Tanzan, uh, Tansy, sorry, you are waiting for Brenda. She's ages taking a long time and felita you and marcy finish up taking the inventory you start heading back to the main camp i'm i'm going to go to the campsite and see if i can help or if something's wrong yeah sure you want to go ahead and give me um a perception check just to kind of look around for things at first i guess perception Mm -hmm. Boom. Yeah, it's really quiet here. I see all. Yeah. Um, even like when you close your eyes and just kind of try to listen, you know, get quiet and still and just hear what's happening in the woods. You don't hear footsteps. You don't hear anyone kind of like kicking up you know, whatever old leaves are still not quite rotted away from last winter under the snow hanging around here. Yeah. Um, you don't hear or sense anything. It's quiet. Too quiet. Nice. Yes, she's definitely going to make her way to the campsite. Yep, she gets to the campsite. Um, yeah, what would you like to do? You can... Brenda? <laughs> no answer. Okay, now I'm going to start looking around. I'm going to start searching the tents for her. Okay. Go ahead and give me an well, investigation. Well, being like Brenda. Mm-hmm. Why yeah. couldn't I roll this good on Tuesday? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it, it's weird. It's like yours are the first footsteps to actually break like the dust around here. Even the campfire seems to have been out for a while. Hmm. I'm starting to think that she didn't even make it to the campsite. Did I check this building at all? Or I was just doing this one? You did uh, B1 and S4, from what I remember. Hmm. Is there anything on the outskirts of the campsite, just walking around the campsite? Like, maybe I can find some sign of where she went? Oh, uh, what do you mean the campsite? Oh, you know, no. So when you look around, I mean, you did pretty well in your investigation. You don't see mm -hmm. that she even made it this far. Okay, well, I'm going to backtrack to where I was and keep an eye out for any footprints or 
or blood or anything that could indicate some like where she went. Mm hmm Yep, um you don't see anything. It's just like she vanished. Hmm. I will let you think about that. Um yeah, so um let's see. Lita, you and Marcy are gonna head back to the main cabins. Or the main sort of B four area where you're staying. And yep. um she is going to um talk about like getting stuff ready for for dinner and Alice is there and uh, Bill isn't there, but Alice is, is in the sort of they kind of share one of the the other bunk beds. I don't know. I can't remember. But you guys are all like, staying in that building. Mm -hmm. um, right. And Gwen, you were heading over. Yep. Uh, and you and Jack come up. So uh, Jack and Gwen, you guys head up. Um, but you don't see Ned when you get back to the cabin. And Jack said, oh, he's probably just this time. Yeah. And I think, oh, Tansy. How long would you like to wait? Um. Or what would you like to do? Okay, so Tansy, I'm conflicted. Because as soon as you said that Ned hasn't shown up either, I'm half well, tempted she to wouldn't, think that she they're wouldn't. in Warehouse One. <laughs> she wouldn't dirty. know that. You like you wouldn't know that in character. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, but if you want to go back to the cabin uh, near dusk, when because that's when Gwen would get back, and notice. Yeah, I I would go back. I would, she would go back to the ca to the cabin. Okay. So yeah, night is falling at this point, so I'm just gonna leap ahead to like in time where Gwen comes back. So you're all three back in the cabin now. So mm -hmm. You've helped Marcy with like the one other inventory at W three, and then made it back uh, to B four, your your main cat. And yeah, as it starts to get to be time for dinner, um, I think you guys the the it's mutton is what's on tonight. You guys get to smell of mutton being made in the kitchen. Um, Alice is a little bit um. Kind of getting a little bit concerned about how late people are. She's getting annoyed. Um, saying, I don't know where that Ned went to or that Brenda. I swear to God, you know, they know what time the dinner bell is. As soon as it's sundown, it's time to come on indoors and have your dinner. I just think it's ridiculous. We were attacked by bears. <gasps> oh my God, we were attacked by bears. Where were you attacked huh? by bears? Um, Close to the W4 cabin. Oh my god, are you all right? Um, well, I mean, I'm fine. I'm covered in blood, but that is what it is. Mars like, she was amazing. Oh my god, she's like a superhero. I was just going to run away or run up a tree or something. I didn't even know what I was going to do. And then she just like pulled out this massive stick and it would just make <laughs> huge noise and part of the bear just fell off i mean oh my god i didn't even like i couldn't even believe it all i could do is just stand there with my mouth open i ship it oh. i just sort of give her a look like i know i was told to be ingratiating <laughs> <laughs> i was like oh my god those bears i swear they are getting they're getting so aggressive i don't know what it is about them it's, they just seem ornery like more than usual. Well, you poor thing. You sit down right here. And you you sit down. And have it some may be that we should perhaps go and see if they were attacked by bears. This Ned and I, Brenda. I don't think Brenda was attacked by bears because I went to go to the campsite she was supposed to be looking at, and she just vanished. I searched everywhere. Mm. You mean All, she I wasn't even... with Ned? I was like, he's no. totally with Ned, dude. In there, those two love birds. They're probably just off having fun. So I didn't they see are any footprints though. Sexually involved with one another. Well, I mean yeah, I don't know. I mean I'm I'm just saying, you know, it could be. You know, love is in the air. Just saying, you know, they may want some privacy. 
That's all. I don't know. Something's up. I think they're right, Bill. I mean, I know you always look for next romance that you can gossip about. But it's not like Brenda did not turn up. And where was Ned, where was Ned last seen? Ned was heading towards W1. <sighs> Brenda was at C1. Was supposed to be, but it looked like nobody was even there. All right, well, I mean, yeah, I think we should probably go, we should probably form search parties and go out and look for him. Mm. I mean, there's enough of us, uh, so we could split into two groups, and one group could search. I volunteer to not be with Marcy. <laughs> <laughs> Marcy can come with us. <laughs> well, we could, we could send one group to the north side of the camp. And the second group can so search the south side of the camp, and then um, we could always, you know, come back and meet here um, after we we cleared everything out. Check them out. I want to search the south side. All right. So I guess I'm going to the side that isn't the south side because I'm not going with Marcy. <laughs> I would really prefer not to run this in two parts where like I have to swap between a three person okay, team. So okay. So so the split of the teams is the NPCs are going north and we are going south. Okay. Well Alice wants to come with you because she feels like you don't know your way around the camp well enough. And Bill also um uh, offers to to come with you. So Yes. So we've got Alice and Bill. Now, Alice and Bill, yep. Uh, I suppose we have to take Marcy. If she sees a um, bear, she'll wet herself, and then we'll have to clean that up. Uh, she'll be fine. Mm, all right. So, yeah, all right. So we're going south first. You're going to be heading... Yeah, uh, so who all is in your party? How Are you guys splitting up, or were you uh, taking Would I have had a, a short rest at the time? Because yes. I didn't yes. heal up, so... Correct. Yes, yep. because I took so long repairing a boat. <laughs> yeah, so now that it's, it's <laughs> technically... It is dark. Definitely dark out. Okay. Uh, let me get a hit dice. Well, if we're traveling with Marcy... I think. All right. Mm. This would come in useful. Yeah, if you want to put on your major right now. Yeah. Oh, no. Not for me. For Marcy. <laughs> I'll just say that they all have shit stats. Okay? They're just normal people. <laughs> they're, they're, they're okay, so they're definitely useful for Marcy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. There's no point putting this on myself because one of my feats already provides it. Okay, so Marcy gets an extra her base AC thirteen plus her Dex modifier. Okay, I'll check out. That's her <laughs> note. Okay, all right. Um, okay, so now she's got Mage Arbor on her. Mm -hmm. So if there's any bears, <laughs> yes. she can run away with mage armor on her. Well, this is a very waste of a spell. Anyway, let's go. Okay, so at this point, it is dark out. Um, and where would you guys like to go? Where were we heading again? We were heading south. Okay. So our, let me just be clear. You have with you Jack, Marcy, Bill, and Alice. Yes? Yes. Right? Okay. Yeah. So you're not splitting up at all? We're not <laughs> splitting up at all. Okay, okay. <laughs> Alice is going to be like, all right, that's probably safe. Yeah. And plus a little bit more effective because when we're all looking in the same area, that means we can cover more ground in that area. Hmm. So, I definitely don't obsessively listen to true crime podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> um, the camp looks different in the dark. During the sunlight, or in the sunlight, 
you know, you can see everything clearly, even under the shade of the trees. You can still see what's happening under very low pine tree shade of the deep. But now that it's night, dark. One, um, of course, I think Felda, um, Felida is feeling better now. Mm -hmm. Much less fussy. But it mm -hmm. is very, very dark. You also notice it almost like there's a slight fog or the smell of fog, that smell of like damp, kind of cold air. And it just feels like there's a fog rolling in from the way that it smells but at temperature of the wander around in the dark. So yeah, wandering around in the dark. Um who can see how far? What's um, um ninety can... feet. Sixty feet. A human? I think this is my first character with no dark vision. <laughs> Oh no. Are you just gonna go outside in the dark or you wanna take a torch or light you know, something with you? I I could have picked up a spell that could have given you dark vision, but then I was like, eh, it's 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 a horror game. They're, they're gonna <laughs> take someone with dark vision. <laughs> Uh, in that case, I'm just double check, just in case I missed something in the old descriptions. Are you human? Yeah, nothing. Yeah. yeah. You need a. You need your... Yeah, just checking the bloodline, just in case, but no. <laughs> just in case the bloodline. Nope, nope. So I guess you're going to grab a torch then, probably. I'm going to have to grab a torch. At least I can make it very, very bright. Um, I will uh, tell Lenore that if anyone comes near him, um, she should say, defend yourself, you blind fool. And I hand to Lenore and says, say, you can hold her. Oh. So, holding my bow with one hand and the doll with the other, um, thank you. What does that do? She will help. Uh, I She is a doll, and basically I can give her six things to say in response to an event. So this event I'm going to say that is someone coming up, um, getting within, like, ten feet of him. Okay. Okay. And it'll make a noise or something? Like yeah, she's or... going to say, defend yourself, you blind fool. Okay, that was it. Got it, <laughs> got it. All right. Are you going to take anything with you? Like, a, or are you just going to go out in the dark? I, I missed it if you grabbed anything. Oh, I would grab the torch by holding the bow in one hand and the doll in the other now. <laughs> well, you could tuck the doll into like a belt or so, a pocket or something. She's very um, portable. Okay, we'll do that in a torch as well. Now I'm just imagining a goth version of it's dangerous to go alone, take this. <laughs> <laughs> That's basic. It's dangerous to go alone. Take, take this haunted creepy doll. doll. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see if this works. You guys see. Yay! <gasps> Ooh. It's dark. Hold on, I'm just going to move my token. Yep, that is nice. It's dark and full of murder. So you should have 10 feet of bright light and 20 feet of dim light? Yes, yes, yes. That looks about right. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, so... So I can see more, so... Uh, does that... Your... Settings. Oh, you're 60, you're right. It's 90, right? Yep. All right, that should be better. Thank you. Yep. Okay, I think I said... That affected me as well. It, yeah, it affected me too. Okay. We'll pretend you can't see yeah, that. Yeah, we'll pretend. We'll, we'll use our imagination. Nothing past this for you guys. <laughs> I have to, like, just... Okay, so you... So, um... It's Gwen can see this. I can see here. 
and then you can see like this area. Mm -hmm. Boom. Yes, everyone is supposed to have their own. And I also put on this thing called night vision effect, nocturnal. I don't know. That. Yeah, I'm definitely benefiting no, it, from leaders. It, it makes oh good. It makes everything bright. I can see even further now. Oh great. Okay. And again, I can interact with every token on screen right now, so You mean the other players or yeah. Maybe it's just a side effect of how you got uh, the sheep. Yeah. But, yeah. I can grab the leader and move the leader. Yes. Yeah. I can I can't grab Gwyn though. Um, well, we're just going to deal with it. That might be because I imported Gwyn, so... This, this whole, this whole thing is just going to be like, oh, we, we came across a problem, eh, we'll just work through it. <laughs> <laughs> As you all... At least we're not needlessly splitting up like all the other groups I'm part of. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you did. <laughs> You did right away! <laughs> um, what, needlessly? Well, I guess it depends on what you think. Alright, anyway. Uh, let's see if... <laughs> We're just not separated really, really far now. We're just separated We're far. A little bit. Okay. So, yes. We're not in a dungeon full of hostiles getting separated. As This is more theater... in a camp with a, with a kill killer, maybe. <laughs> this is more theater of the mind than on the map, okay? But I put you on the map to kind of give you the vibe of... Mm -hmm. um, in the distance, you can this see... This location has vibes. The, um, that there is some kind of iridescent light shimmering. So, like, here? In the distance as well? More theater of the mind. Yes. So the question so is distance, like, hmm? I say, yep. yeah, yeah. I say, let's walk toward it. Let's do, let's do the dumb horror film thing and walk toward it. Where, where did she go? <laughs> there you are. You vanished. Uh, Felinda? Uh, Felita's just sort of by the... Felita. She kind of hangs off in the shadows to the edges. And, yeah, in fact, you will notice that if she goes to a place where you would need dark vision to see her, you cannot see her. She went poof. I went poof. As you all move Is that what happened to Brenda? <laughs> As you all move through the woods, uh, you start to hear Or doom. This last word. I like doom and curses. All right, Alice and uh, Oh, hell yeah. And for everybody, because I can't be bothered to bring everyone of those two. I'm like, oh, <laughs> mystery solved. Comes <laughs> around until you can you can basically see the outline of a ghost, and Alice suddenly shrieks in recognition. She says, "Rathskull." Oh, yeah. Is that Rathskull? Oh, oh, I'm gonna faint! And she faints. And uh, Bill's there, and he's looking very pale, too. I was about to say good, faint. <laughs> <laughs> Rathskull? Rathskull equals ghost. There we go. <laughs> Once in my D and D life, I am taking notes. I never take notes. 
I don't know if you meant this to happen, but all I see now is a black rectangle. Really? All I did was add a token to the page. I don't see a ghost. I do. <laughs> I see. I see it. Oh, it's too dark for me to see. Yeah. <laughs> I can't see over here. Here's where my vision ends. Okay. I just can't see anything now. Stupid bitch ass ghost, get over here. Hold on, I'm gonna have to move. Ah, I see ghost. I do everything at once, but I can't. Alright, let me check your. Ooh, did I win the game of stepping on the DM's notes? <laughs> Oh, everything that should be fine. You still all you don't have night vision. I win. You just have you emit a bright light. I see you here. Sib. I still just see a black move victim. forward a bit. And that's it. No, I can't see anything. All right. I'll... Oh, that happened to me. What happened to me a long while ago? Oh my gosh. This might not actually, we might not finish this game because of rule 20. Alright, there you go. Now <laughs> everything is fine, right? You just see fucking everything. everything. Um. Yes. I'll just put a little wall um, on myself so I know my sight range. That that always happens with one shots anyway. They never actually end up being one shots. So, um, yes, you you heard well, Alice before she you heard Alice before she uh, passed out. She shouted out a name, and Bill is also looking very uh, um, pale. Um, and this unknown camper, the rest of you are looking at lifts up a ghostly hand and points at you and says you're warned you're doomed and tonight nothing will save you this land is cursed even now a killer known only as the slasher stalks these campgrounds killing any living creature it meets and unless you find a way to stop the slasher it will kill you all Oh, hell yeah. I mean, oh no. <laughs> Did the slasher get you too? Yes. And at this point... <laughs> uh, could I just perception it and see if I really believe this is a dead person? Yes, absolutely. Inside a dead person, or inside a ghost. Pensy might be... Very intelligent. 18. Uh, this, you don't sense like a lot of evil coming off of this ghost. If anything, it looks like it wants you to stop it. Stop the the slasher. Slasher. -war. Slasher. Why is the slasher here? It's tied to an ancient evil I was here to find myself. Retrieve. See, there was a book I have of notes. I've kept notes. It's so hard to stay in form, but go in my cabin. Look for my book. It's hidden in a secret stone in near the fireplace. My notes. Find my notes. Is Ned or the other one dead? Screams. Why didn't I hear the screams? I wasn't too far away. From Brenda, anyway. I can sense when people are dancing off. Sounds legit. If all you, s I wasn't fully expecting you to just say I'm a ghost. 
<laughs> and just be like, oh, makes sense. You have to stop him. You. He's. He's. He's coming. He's coming. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> we'll do our best. Thank you for your warning, sir. All we of a sudden, will find your notes. You hear a screech. Oh my god! Oh my god! Help me! Help me! Help me! Somebody help me! Oh my god, it's <laughs> fucking Marcy, isn't it? <laughs> I told you to leave that creature behind. And as you, and you're like, oh my god, no, 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 no. And she goes quiet, and all of a sudden, you're Bill, like, no way, dude, no! No, no, Marcy. Uh, and yes, as you turn around, you are confronted with dun, dun, dun. the slasher, who has now the limp body of um, Marcy in his arms, I'm trying to find you. The oh, the slasher. Here's the oh. art handout. Dun. That. Nice. It's the I like the slasher head. With his hook and his saw bone. Except he's got like one of his things is holding Mark. Bone saw. Yeah, that too. <laughs> <laughs> you said saw bone. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's close enough. Yeah, I've been talking for like two hours. Two hours. <laughs> My god, who is your tailor? <laughs> You're looking pretty cool. <laughs> and it looks up the seven foot tall humanoid wearing moldy clothing, heavy boots, and a cracked blue mask that hides all but its left eye, gripping a wicked sharp chopping blade. That's a quote, direct quote, by the way. Wicked sharp. Oh, hell yeah. Chopping blade in its left hand, the edge chop, chop. of which is glistens fresh with blood. Looks up at you, just sort of like bellows at you <laughs> and um I've never heard of that story runs off with Marcy right uh, let's follow him um, can I hunters mark him uh let's see um where are you and what is the let's see I put him in the corner because that was far away but so yeah 60 feet alright I'm gonna hunt while I was talking, I was like hunters marking him. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, okay then. If we're gonna do this then yeah, uh let me pull up the initiative. So if everyone could click on your Select tokens. Select the tokens. Right. Click. Uh, you should. Same it's actually sorry. It's actually twenty for me. I don't. Okay. I wasn't able to fix it. Okay, that's okay. I can do it. Just Where like were that. these rolls on Tuesday? You guys can see the slasher in the turn order. I want to make sure. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Does the slasher have more than thirteen decks? I'm good. Like I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> uh, just, you don't know. Just know who goes we'll go first. You don't. Afterwards. You don't know. <laughs> You've never met this thing before. <laughs> so. I mean, technically, we did. We just met it just now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, starting to go off with Marcy. You do. Um, so you do your hunter's mark. You're first up, um, Felita. So. Uh, Chrissy, was that? Um... Chrissy is muted. So, yeah, Alita. Sorry. No worries. So yes, I get. Um, I get an extra ten feet on my first move. Okay. So I get to go forty feet. I'm not sure which. Uh, you said it was like sixty feet away. Uh yeah, but basically, was it your your exactly sixty feet? I when I measured it. Yeah. All right. So assume I'm going like. Uh, forty feet of that. Okay. So I'm when I'm twenty feet away. Out comes big blemmy. <laughs> okay, blam away. Bloom, bloom. Uh, let me see. That'll hit. 
Okay. Ten. And then I'm gonna do a D6. Eleven. All right. Eleven damage. Yes, so you um get out big blammy and you manage to catch this hulking creature like sort of in the um in the rear end section. Is are you kind of short? I always assume you're a gnome. I'm cause... short. Okay, yeah. yeah. So more like hip 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 height uh damage there. All right. Anything else? I just yell drop her. Right. Uh Tansy. Okay, so I am going to use Jim's magic missile. I'm going to put it in chat. I know Jim's magic missile because I play Akin. <laughs> um, that costs you money, so one gold piece. But okay, yep, yeah, go ahead. Yes. This is worth spending money on. <laughs> Boom. Uh, Alexa, bedroom oh. lights on. Sorry. Boom. Okay, magic missile. Each dart. Uh, I think it strikes. Always strikes true. So for each one. Yes. Why did it do it twice? You get to do uh, two or force damage mm -hmm. on it and less. Oh, what did it say? If the attack roll. Oh, you still have to do an attack roll because if the attack roll scores a critical. Okay. You do a better. And if you, it gets a one, everything misses. Okay. So. For some reason, every time I try to cast the spell, it just does that. Um, so are you I'm... using? Are you in your spell area, or are you in your your sheet? Oh, I'm, I'm in my spell area. Yeah. So go into your weapons or where your attacks are all okay. listed, and it's right there. It's not listed on here. My okay. Attacks. Then um, go ahead and. Uh. I'm just gonna roll a twenty and add yes. my spell attack yes. bonus. So that plus six. Yep, that'll hit. So it's not a oh, crit no. or a fail. Go ahead and... I'm going to hit 2d4s. Correct. Boop, boop. All right, for six more boom, damage. Boom. boom, boom. This guy doesn't look... He's looking like a little bit like worn on the edges, but he looks tough. He looks... And you're doing that from a distance. Okay, Um. and Chrissy is yep. BRB. So I don't want to do and back instead all of the way. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And I'm going to subtract a gold from my spell. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want in, in a short campaign. It doesn't really matter. But it is a funny spell. It's a hilarious. Back ink. <laughs> Back ink in the never return of moments just wackiness on everything yeah i was about to just do magic missile and then i eyed jim's magic missile i'm like hmm, hmm. i don't know why but I... yeah fucking jim i mean yeah that's actually a spell available um in my sunday campaign but nobody seemed that interested in it <laughs> So, I really doesn't I cast fascinated. Yeah, yeah. Well, I wasn't complaining about you. I was just fascinated by the fact it's Jim's magic missile. Who the fuck is Jim? Oh, Jim Dark Magic of the of New um New Hampshire Dark Magics. Yeah, so that's a whole Ooh. thing. So uh, if there's a whole podcast that started Acquisitions Incorporated about 10, 12 years ago with Chris Perkins, like the guy who does fucking D and D, like the guy who is the head guy at Wizards of the Coast. He and some mm -hmm. people from like Penny Arcade started just doing a game and they turned it into a podcast and it became very popular as a podcast. This was before Crit Critical Role really blew up. And so they would go to various cons and do live role plays like they would do two hour blocks and it's all on YouTube mm -hmm. and they're very funny. I would actually they inspired me a lot as a DM and, and as a character, too. And then they turned that all into Acquisitions Incorporated. OK, excellent. Yeah, you're back. Uh, so if you have some time, I would say go look up some of the... You just get into the narrative of Omen Drawn, Jim Dark Magic, Viani, and all of the other sort of characters. So... Viani, huh? No, Viari. No, Viari. 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 Oh. Viari. I, yeah, but yeah, basically I was like, I like that, but I'm going to make it Viari instead of Viari. I just slipped. Okay, so... um, Oh, <laughs> so you are within 20 feet of the slasher, Alita. 
I need you to take a wis make a uh, wisdom saving throw for me. Okie dokie. <laughs> Let's see. Um, wisdom save. Wisdom oh, save. Rex. I feel like there's something about that that I should. Like you might have an advantage or something like that. I don't know. Um, I'm just gonna go wisdom save for now. Oh yeah, you're fine. Now, you know, and actually now, in case I forget, you um. You save on your saving throw. You're now affect. You you have immunity to this effect for the next hour. I tried to throw on you. Sees that you don't sort of cower in his presence, so he just basically pulls out his wicked sh wicked sharp machete, and he is just going to whack at you. Oh, okay. first let me. Uh, I think this is probably defaulted to whispers. I don't want you to whisper the rolls because I don't play like that. All right, first attack, a machete coming straight at you. Ooh, he misses. Gets another attack. Mm. That one's going to hit. That one's going to hit. Does mm. 11 slashing damage. And then he comes at you with a third attack. That's 19. That he'll hit, yeah. And the further 9 slashing damage, and he bellows at you. Um... Basically, mm -hmm. like, get away. And that's his turn. I like my right. personal so space. It's 20 damage, huh? That was painful. Mm -hmm. We're in a okay. pandemic. We're supposed to be six feet apart. <laughs> right, next up is Gwyn. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, I haven't seen his colleague getting hit. Gwyn's going to try slowing the monster down. Fourteen is a miss. So your cone, as he sort of like reaches down, like leans down to bellow in um, Felita's face, the cone goes right over where his head would have been in that moment. <laughs> well, shit. Moving targets are Right. Next up, wait. What happened to Tansy? No, where? How you got? Oh, you went before. Sorry, I just forgot which one. Yeah. All right. Felita. I mean, I can go again. No, no sorry. <laughs> I can go twice if you want. I just to. yes. Felita. <laughs> okay, so um, I Felita. am going to shift. That's just a feature. Okay. It's not like an action or it's just, you just see me, her ears get pointier, her face gets like furry and marked, she gets claws and teeth. And uh, so that is, um, oh, it is a bonus action. Sorry. Okay. So that is my bonus action. Okay. Um, I'm going to get some hit points <laughs> okay. from that uh, level four constitution four plus one uh, four plus one, which is five. Uh, so I'll get five hit points. Okay. And um, shoot. Uh, Oh, you know what? I should have, last time, I should have been able to take an extra shot. Can I take that now? Oh, yeah, yes. Okay. Um, and if it hits, I'm supposed to be able to do another D8. Okay. So that's my, we'll just assume. Uh, 15 will miss. Uh, damn. The big blade right. goes out. This time it just kind of catches a part uh, like under his arm. He just doesn't hit his core. All right. So this time I'm going to do just a, uh, another big blammy. Damn. <laughs> um, I am going to... Oh, crap, I can't 
Um, what is it to take a health potion? Is that like a? It's a bonus. Act it's a bonus action. Okay, yeah, I, I mean, already you could give up. So. Yeah, you already did your bonus action. You could give up an action, but you already done. An I action. already, I already did one. So, all right. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna stand right here like an idiot. <laughs> All right. Um, by the way, the counselors are going to have to do their saves as well for that fear thing. One got a two. Oh my gosh, Alice is actually braver than Bill. Bill's going to hightail it. He is going to run behind a tree, wet himself. Alice is also going to run behind a tree, but she's going to stay closer and peek out, just looking at what happens. Not quite as scared, Bill, but she's also like getting Still away. Both cowards. Yeah. Oh, totally. Yeah. Like staying alive is her own pri only priority. All right, Tansy, what you want to what do you want to do? Okay, I want to cast Shatter on him, okay. but I want to place it to where it won't hit um Belinda. Okay. Um what kind of um spell is that? Dish one. The cone or a... It's a 10-foot radius sphere. Yeah, to radius... draw a point. Um, uh, okay, so let's Has to make put a con it save. Let me, yeah, give me my free assets up. Why are there so many things in here? Dungeon tiles? Aliens? Dwarves? Aliens? Aliens? Yeah, I don't even know why that's a rare creep. But I'm just looking at free assets. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, oh, you shit. shouldn't be surprised about uh, rare creatures. Well, yeah. uh, here we go. Okay, it's a it's an shatter and it's a radius, right? Yeah. Just throw a werewolf in there, why won't we? Okay, uh, ten foot radius. Yes. Okay, four by four or two. Yeah, it's four total squares. Yes. Four by four. Four by four. Yes. Okay. Get big. No, not. Er, these are, things are so. There we go. Three. Okay. Oh, I, um, yeah. Hold on, I have to give it, I don't have to, but I will give it, can give you control over it. You you might kill the person he's holding. Yeah, yeah they, I mean, um, she will take all that damage too. She'll make her, well, she could do it. I same. was about to say, is she, she already, is she already dead? Mm -hmm. Oh, we don't think we know. Like, I don't even know that she's alive, so. All right, Nancy, can you got control of your. Acid <laughs> <thing> <laughs> <there>. <laughs> Put it there. Okay. So it hits him. So he has to make a con save okay. or take that much damage. Okay, here comes his con save. 30. No, he doesn't make it. He takes 12 <laughs> damage. Uh so yes. Um as so do you like throw this sort of like thunderish noise? Or how to describe like what you do. Oh, she's not gonna throw it. She's more gonna. How, how do I want to? I am kind of checking it. Hmm. I want her to kind of blow it like a kiss, <laughs> like she claps her hands in a way that almost looks like she's gonna cast thunder wave, but instead she kind of blows it. Okay. Like, she's blowing a thunder wave at him or something. Alright, <laughs> so she, like, blows kiss this thunder wave, the energy from it leaves her her in the space, and heads right over to the slasher. You can see as the impact of the spell finally detonates, that almost like a wind ruffles some of his tattered belongings, you know, on him. Um, and he's sort <laughs> of like his brush of a breeze, uh, and then you just hear Marcy's body go <sighs> She stops moving. She wasn't moving to begin with. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's that's your turn. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you want to do anything else? Oh no, I'm okay. good. Okay. Slasher like looks over at you, <laughs> Alina, and just uh, now it's like got a little bit of damage on it. Like the the body it has is sort of like. Throws it, you know, over its shoulder, pulls out its machete, and it looks at you. There's a glowing red evil in its eyes. You can tell that this thing, like, is not 
human. So, and here He's it comes werewolf. with its massive machete coming right at you. All right, 24, so that's six. I'm gonna just keep swinging. Oh no. 17, final one, 14 hit. That one's a miss. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that is 23. 23. Yep. Uh, where am I at? I think that I might be down. Wait. Yeah, I'm down. All right. As your body goes limp, it seems to lose interest and just sort of like takes Marcy's now very limp, you know, well, well completely limp body. And um, yeah, we'll take its movement and it'll move Run away. away. Move off into the darkness. Uh, Alice starts screaming. Felita! No, Felita, don't die! Don't! We have to go save Marcy! Oh, God! Oh, God! And Bill's like, I don't even know what's going on, man. I, I don't even know what's going on. Game over, man. Game over, man. Um, yeah, you guys watch as it takes Marcy off into the darkness, the pitch dark dark night. And um your your new colleague is just in a heap on the ground. We should go heal her. When takes out a healing potion as he runs over. I also take out a healing potion. <laughs> <laughs> All right, heal me up. <laughs> We're gonna bitch slap her with some potions. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you want, guys want to roll? Are these both just regular healing potions? They, these are both just regular, like mine's right. a regular healing potion. Regular healing potion. All right, forty-four, seven plus uh, eight, so fifteen. So I'm up with fifteen points. Uh, and I'm like, hmm. Well, now we know what we're up against now. Maybe we should stay out of its reach next time. Well, I... Sounds like a plan. I was trying to retrieve the girl Marcy, but I must say, Tansy, I... I appreciate how quick you were to dispose of her. Oh, she wasn't already dead? <laughs> no, merely unconscious, but... I've oh. got to say that I had no idea that you were so cold. I find it really attractive. <laughs> <laughs> Tensi is just gonna be confused, like thought the bitch was already dead. There's blood everywhere. <laughs> Alice is a uh... oh sorry, you guys go ahead. Sorry. I'm gonna take another healing potion. I gotta get something back. <laughs> <laughs> you dignity. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Six. Alice starts yelling, everyone back to the cabin. Everyone back to cabin. Come on, we got we gotta we gotta we gotta get out of here. We can't stay out here in the open like this. It's too dangerous. Let's all go back. Sounds good. Before we just run back to whatever cabin, which cabin was Rascal from? I'm sure once we get the safety, we can we can ask which cabin he was in and then check it out in the morning. Assuming we haven't lost more people by morning. True. All right. So you guys gonna head back to the main. Yes. Your own yep. main cabin. Yeah, I guess I can be four. Go put you on your, your own main cabin. Now, it, it should be really cool because yeah. I'll show you what I should be. Oh, yeah, I could probably still do this part. Um... <gasps> lighting effect? Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. nice. Cool. Okay, I can't All do right. dynamic lighting per se, but at least we can do the lighting effects. We can do that on the very. That is fun stuff. Okay. 
Oh, are there's you? There's some people there? here that we need to get rid of. Oh, there's some people who don't belong anymore. Okay, oh, I have to get to the right uh, layer. Oh, yeah, Ned. Ned. Currently away. Bill is still with you. Alice is with you. Brenda. And I have spared. Is gone. Belinda. Belita. From Marcy. And Marcy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or was Brenda still with you? No. Hold on. Let me see. No, no. Brenda's, Brenda's gone. Brenda's gone. Disappeared. Okay. Yep. It was Jack. Um. Yeah. Brenda. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean. That. There's Jack. I have. I didn't see that. Yep, um, oh yeah, they all, fuck, they hustle. They get in quick. They all go right inside and they look absolutely terrified. Hot. There you go. Guys, get inside. Quick. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so I just want to see what the trail looks like if we're. Dark Lady. But yeah, you guys are in, so um, they, they look terrified. They just. Can you tell me about this rascal person? Alice looks, uh, she's like, oh, I think I need something to drink first. Uh, uh, uh. She kind of goes over to the bar and she kind of like, or the kitchen area. Yeah, yeah, there's a bar there. I see it. I see that bar. Um, breakfast bar. It's right she, here. Yep, pours herself a whiskey and, and has something. She, yeah, there was. I mean, we didn't see very much of him. He's a very nice guy. I kind of kept to himself, but um, yeah, he was a he was a he was a he was a camper here. Um, uh, rascal. Yeah, rascal or breach. Um, half elf guy. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Maybe late thirties for a human. Um, oh, he was. He was staying out in. Uh, he was staying out in B two. Um. But he wasn't only there. I mean, he also hung around other parts of of the camp. I just can't believe Marcy. Do you think that's what happened to Ned? And do you think that's what happened hap to um uh, Ned and Brenda too? Do you think that's do you think that's what got them? I'm not a hundred percent sure because when Brenda disappeared, I didn't see any blood or any tracks or anything. Well, there wasn't any blood on Marcy. I think he just crushed her body. <laughs> yes that's true definitely crushed her body <laughs> um sorry i i sometimes have a nervous laughter um you know when i'm frightened like you are hmm. upset anyway yes yes upset it's all very she also upsetting. has a hard time finding words she's very mm. distraught as you can tell Yes, I'm and very she, distraught. And, and Tansi is just going to go over and just be like, there, there, it's okay. <laughs> oh, just can't. So, um, well, okay, so I guess he must have been killed by that thing, too. Um, well, well uh, he's came, I don't know, three or four days ago, and he was very friendly, very talkative, and, um, asking a lot, like, people knew the history of this area, or if anything had street uh, and uh, uh, he spent time down by the caves uh also spent some time in the lumber yard uh, talking i think he maybe been friends with with a uh, big big yeah um uh, what's the character oh damn it biggie smalls not biggie smalls um friends with ah big jaden jaden little nas yeah, that would be cool. Um, with big with big Jade, that would be cool. Who works there? Hmm. I was hoping to interesting. Nice. Well, tell me a little bit about Brenda and Ned. Well, uh, I don't know. I mean, um, they only started working here like in the last six weeks. Um, I don't know. Brenda, well, she was you know very excited about things. Um, she sometimes talked too much, so we like to give her tasks that allowed other people to get a break from her. Um, you know, just so that we had more energy at night to listen to her story, you know? So we thought inventory would be perfect for her. Or checking the buildings would be perfect yeah. for her. And Ned? Mm -hmm. Ned, I don't know. I think he's... He might have known Steve, perhaps. He's just... 
he didn't really seem to kind of fit in with the customer service vibe, you know, he didn't really seem like the cheery type, but you know, he was good at what he, you know, he, like, he got his work done and he was pleasant enough, he just didn't like go out of his way to meet people. Uh, and, uh, Steve? Steve, I mean, I, yeah, I'm, I've only known Steve, I guess, four months since he hired me, and sometimes <laughs> he's here, he's fun, you know, he's always trying to find a new problems. Um, you know, he's really persnickety about what he wants the style of the camp to be like, you know, he really wants to go with this whole glamping idea. But, you know, other than that, um, I don't know, he's, he's gone often. When he's here, he's fine. But none of that's mm. going to have to, I don't think any of them have anything to do with this kind of evil. This is some sort of super magic, supernatural, very powerful. I mean, like, nobody, none of those people came across as you know, blood sacrificed, raising the dead kind of evil. It's interesting that you uh, leap to blood sacrifice and well, raising I, the dead. I was just, you know, reading all those books, you know, about like horror stories, and I, I'm kind of into the occult. Are you? Oh, so very interesting. Uh, can I incite her? Yep. And while you're inciting her, um, Hansi would like to ask if anything weird has been, like, anything off has been happening on, in the camp leading up to this moment. Okay. So, um, you kind of get the vibe that she's, like, sort of like a true crime, but for, like, you know, a fanfic. Bestie. She doesn't seem to be deceiving you in any way. She's also very fla uh, flustered. Mm. Um, but you're not kind of getting any uh, trying to deceive them or hiding information like by omission. Okay. Uh, I'm letting you go, Pasta. Oh, yeah. What was your okay. question again? Oh, my question was, uh, was anything weird happening up till this point? Like anything you would find off since you first got here to now? Uh, so she will say that, um... Hindsight. Um, yes. Uh, so, well, I mean, we, we hadn't heard from Rascal, I guess, in two days, but, um, you know, he, he kind of seemed to be, I don't know, doing some kind of research or working on stuff. He was always, like, carrying around a book with him, this, like, little notebook. And uh, you, you'd see him... Oh, so this happened recently. Well, yeah, he, I mean, he must have gone missing in the last just, like, day or two, because I think I saw him, like, two days ago. He came down. I don't remember what he was looking for, but he's always, like, scribbling in his little notepad, you know, going down. And like I said, I, I think I ran into him. Um, I was heading up toward one of the warehouses, and I went past the caves. And I saw him out there, sitting around, digging around, which I did warn him off of, and he he left, but I didn't stick around to make sure he didn't go back. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, and then the lumber yard too, you know. But other than, but the last two days he was keeping to himself, and I just thought he was maybe taking some time off, or you know, staying in his cabin, just being on his own. Is there anyone who um, particularly disliked Marcy? I mean, I I've met her, so I could understand, <laughs> but someone more than the usual <laughs> amount. <laughs> I mean, I think, I mean, Bill, I mean, I mean, I think we all kind of rolled our eyes a little bit at, at Marcy sometimes. Like, yeah, totally, man. I mean, there were times when she would start talking, I would just stare into the fire. And I'd go, see. yeah, but nobody, like, was, you know, like, picking on her or bullying her or, you know, being mean. I mean, like I said, a lot of us just stare in the fire. Yeah. You just kind of go, uh-huh, every once in a while and just seem to keep her happy. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh god. Interesting. Marcy. Poor Marcy. Poor Ned. Oh, oh, Brenda, oh, this is gonna be terrible. It's gonna be oh Oh, I don't I know. think it would be good if we all got some rest. But there I suppose there's no point going out there before morning. Uh, I don't know. I'd rather I'd like to go out and that um Retrieve that notebook before someone decides to take it. I'm better in the dark, so I can go by myself. 
after I've had enough of a rest to heal my wounds a bit. Oh, in that case, I can go with you. I'm very good at investigating things. We all look at Gwyn. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we, we established I'm blind. No, no, you're back Indeed. in the cabin now. Well, I mean, outside, yeah. But no, you... no, that was him saying. I thought we established I'm blind. <laughs> I'm blind at night. Well, give me my doll back then. and You can stay here. And keep an eye out on everyone and make sure he didn't come back and like, steal anybody else away. Yes, everyone should sleep together. Out here, where it's light. And then I can cast um, my alarm spell. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm reading it right now. I was hoping there'd be a nighttime version of the uh, full map, but sadly... Aww. Yeah. Anyway, so um, who's heading off to? Uh, I'll I'll put you on the big map. Okay, there's there's no point in me casting alarm if I'm not there, because it only warns me. Hmm. All right. Well, I have to hit my other. Let's go to B two. B two. Nice. That one's good. Ten. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm up to. Oh, that's a ways away. Up to top. You know that you have a like a, a oh, lantern that you can oh. carry that will give you like ten feet and twenty feet, right, Gwen? So you're not totally blind. You're just blind after twenty feet. <laughs> Thirty feet, that I should say. Sense. And I could use the spell to make it even brighter. So, yeah, take the torch. Okay. I do want to point out that Brenda went missing at C1. Hmm? Um, Ned went missing at W1. And this guy went missing at B2. So there's an area popping up. And we got attacked somewhere mm -hmm. near, near C2. What and we were in the south, so yeah. I'm going so B two is right in the heart of it. Oh, and the mm -hmm. torch is twenty foot bright, and another ten dim. So I can bump that up to forty bright with my spell. Okay. Um. Yeah. Oh, it's five foot in one direction. Even so, I suppose. Oh, it's double or half. Nice. Okay. All right. I'm gonna be like going stealthily, invisibly through the dark parts. So you should all just know you may you won't see me, but I'm there. Yes. Yeah, so also, just as a mechanic, if you just walk your normal pace, you know you can get there in whatever it is, one minute per hex. But if mm -hmm. you want to be sneaky, then that slows you down. So then you go, like, basically... Blue stalkers don't have to do that. Right, but if anyone else wanted yeah. to. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, and if, if anybody else wants to be sneaky, I do have Pass Without Trace. And if you wanted to dash somewhere or run, you know, get someplace from one side of the camp or to some building to another, you take a minus five to your... Uh, passive perception checks. So that's just the mechanic that I run. Makes sense. Makes sense. Are you guys going to be stealthy or is it just me being. I'm assuming we let you go and count to 30 and then follow at a distance. I think that's a good idea. I don't think there's really a point in all of us being stealthy. Can't believe those words just left my mouth. <laughs> um. <laughs> Especially with one person carrying a torch so that they can see. Yeah. So 
So I guess me and you will walk, and then you can stealth up ahead. All right. Fair enough. You head out into the night. And what's Again. your um? What's your lineup? I'm Who's... first. By like, probably twenty feet. Out, I'm out twenty five, thirty. I'm outside of wherever the light is. Mm -hmm. So. Okay, I won't use the control flames to make it brighter then. That way you've got the 20 to 30 range of dim light. Then I guess it'll just be me and Gwen after yeah. that. You, um, yes, head out uh, for some of you into the darkness, for others into the haze, the gray black of the night. Um, yes, um, and are you guys like gonna, like, are you just walking along? Are you gonna be listening out? What are you going to be doing? Looking around? Do you know gonna, are you going to keep track gonna of... I'm definitely going to be mm -hmm. listening and looking around. Since I have dark too. vision, so... Yeah. Okay, yes, please, both of you give me perception checks. And if you're... Like... Mm -hmm. I'm going to roll that good. All right. So you walk along. It's a um, the night is kind of eerily still. You can feel that. Um, that's or I should say, you can you know, the the fog now is rolling in a little bit more. It seems it's quite sparse, but as you with your dark vision look up, you can see that like uh, on in on the roads and stuff, you can. Look into the forest. You can tell that the. Fog... I, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Yeah. I mine will actually be higher than that because of Deft Explorer. I'm okay. sorry. Yeah. I've got um sure. an extra. I keep forgetting I have luck points. Two, seventeen. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So um, as you're walking along, you can uh, kind of notice again that fog has gotten denser mm. since you got back to the cabin and everything else. And when you end up. Getting to about this part of the road, and notice a black smear in the grass. Blood. You can do an investigation if you want to look closer. I will do an investigation. I'm so good. Never mind. Luck point. Luck point. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Oh. <laughs> Who wants to investigate with me? <laughs> Am I getting help? Yeah, wink, you can. Wink. Yeah, you should, yeah, okay. We'll just say. Can someone assist? Well, I'm there, so Yes, I'm you helping. Can, you can still help, yeah. Like, but, um, all right. So we'll go back. We'll go back. Yes. Uh, you find, actually, now that it's kind of been pointed out to you, you can see that there is a trail of blood that it was kind of um covered up by some falling like some covered up leaves or something from last winter. Uh, and there is a blood trail. So now we need to make the decision. Do we follow the blood or do we go to B2? Um can I tell using any of my rangery brilliance uh how fresh the blood trail is yeah you can do nature or medicine okay what am i am i good at any of that um medicine well i'm probably slightly better at medicine does anybody want to help me <laughs> I can help you. I have a plus four to nature and a plus three to medicine. Okay. All yeah. right. So let's uh, evaluate this blood trail together. All right. Yes. Yeah, so first looking dates are so weird. It, <laughs> so you can tell. I've from, always <laughs> sorry. Go ahead. I've always wanted a little sister to be able <laughs> look to look at blood with. <laughs> look at blood with. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So when you touch it, the blood actually is not even tacky. 
it's of course you know you also have to take into the fact that being a ranger you know you will be paying attention it's been a little bit on the windy side today and so it looks like this blood kind of like dropped there's a there was a splash of blood that landed on this area of of kind of leaves and then it uh, got blown over by the wind and dried off so it's been here for a bit and it's been here like now the the fog has made things very very still and you also recall that the fog started coming in around the time it got dark and so you would imagine that the wind would have been blowing earlier so this is a this blood is several hours old this is not far from where you lost track of your Brenda friend, is it? Yeah, it's not that far at all. Mm. She really didn't get that far, did she? Apparently not. Are you sure you didn't kill her? I am pretty sure I didn't kill her. Mm. Insight. <laughs> <laughs> so funny if I just went deception <laughs> and so hard to tell in the dark anyway I, From the I think we it, should it looks like she got attacked right after I went inside of B1 mm. so you think he was out waiting for his opportunity more than likely hmm well, I think that we should um, continue on to B2, get that, I want answers. Yeah, Before I don't we think go, there's a point in following the blood trail. We can do that in the morning. If anything, that could be a trap. Mm. Yes, I'd rather um, not die again quite so quickly. Also, it's very sloppy handiwork. I mean, what kind of person just leaves blood everywhere? <laughs> Newbie. Hmm. Well, I suppose we can't all be as um, experienced as you in killing people. I'm not experienced in killing people. I just know a lot about crime. <clears throat> of course. <laughs> There's times like this, I wish my ancestor would just fly over and swallow me. <laughs> Darling, you know, do you need the do you need to have Lenore with you again? I'm fine. I have a torch and I have magic. And if necessary, I could set a tree on fire. Oh hell yeah. What has the tree ever done to you? It know what it, <laughs> it knows what it did. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go back to being like uh, a ways away from people. Okay, so yes, you guys have to enter the forest in order to get to the cabin proper. Um, and so yeah, Are you, you can kind of across Pokemon. Make your way through the woods, and as you approach it, you see. Yeah, the same kind of cabins. The These are large cabins. They serve as the premium uh, location on the grounds. They um, each have an outdoor fire area. They have access to the cellar below the building and a storage area for non-perishable. Front door that, um, just like yours, you know, that you would assume opens up into the common area. And I think that's it. You know, it's like a wooden hut. Ah, uh, yeah, so you're, it's outside, and actually, as you all approach, uh, let's, let's see who sees it first. Everyone give me a perception check. Okay, boom. Oh. Where were no these rolls on Tuesday? <laughs> Plus two. Oh, okay. which barely helped. All right, Tansy, you recognize to your, like, a, 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 Think sinking feeling comes in your stomach, clenches up a little bit. You recognize Brenda. And also another man who looks more decomposed. They've been put on the front porch of the building like they're supposed to be sitting there, but most of their 
insides are on the outside from like the chest chest area they're sort of been posed in a way uh, opened up hmm the so other one looks I... like a half elf uh man well um following the blood trail Probably wouldn't have done us any good, because there's Brenda, and I'm assuming that's Rascal. Interesting that Ned isn't with them. Hmm. Mm -mm. He could be inside. How are they positioned? Uh, so exactly. Basically, if you think about marionette dolls, in mm. terms of like, okay. you know, their legs are kind of splayed out in a chair. Kind of a little bit, and they're sort of slumped back. The arms are also dangling down either side. Oh, ah, okay. All right, so um, I'm gonna case the joint. Kind of, kind of pass. I went pass without trace and wander into the dark and just take a circle around to um. See, and I'll cast it on you guys too, but it won't help. So, yeah. um, I mean, actually, there's not lights here, but it's the same sort of layout as the other cabins. So, I will just uh, all of the and move them off. But it's the same. <coughs> I mean, I could do it theater of the mind, but it might just be more fun if you guys can have a look at. Oh, I guess your yeah. characters can just be outside. Um, that way you can explore more. Organic. I actually want to go up to the bodies and like inspect the cuts and really s be able to tell like what happened to them exactly. Yeah. So you saw that big ass machete that mm -hmm. the slasher was carrying? This looks consistent. Yeah. The kind of weapon that would do. Yeah. Messy cutting, not mm -hmm. surgical at all. Nope, nope, nope. More of a hack job. What a hack. Mm. Right. I guess we should go inside and see if we can find the book that's hidden in the fireplace. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, well, I guess we know that thing's not hungry. Uh, before, can I just check and see what I found kind of walking around the perimeter? Um, what were you looking for? I was looking for any signs that anyone was inside the house. Ah, uh, okay. Well, what you do notice is that same kind of trail of blood, actually, like you saw on the road. You can see where it led to, which was here. Can oh. you go looking around? Um, it goes right up the stairs, flops down right in the chair. Next and in terms of you were sorry, looking around outside for any oh, you're looking to see if anyone had come in. In in the No, it seems that the whatever disturbances would have it happened out. Okay. Alright, let's go on in. Right. Yeah. I'm going to still stick to the shadows when I get in. <laughs> I'm going to go right up to the fireplace okay. and start looking at the stones. Question, is the fireplace lit when we walk in? So no, this is a, the default map because yeah, no, I couldn't, just... yeah. And so no, none of these lights are, these were it, dynamic lighting made it, would have made it fucking cool. It doesn't work. So <laughs> not with um all my, my processor was, no! There's no way you're doing all that. Your computer was like, you want to have fun? Ha, huh, no. <laughs> yeah, I have to farm out some of these tasks, like hosting. But anyway, yes, we are talking about that. So, In that case, mm -hmm. Gwyn is going to try to light the fire. Okay, yeah, have a fire there. Were you hoping to make sure he knew where we were? If he didn't know from the torch before, this isn't going to make much difference. Hmm. 
And considering of the two bodies that are out there, I'm pretty sure he figures that someone's going to show up here eventually. So, which stone was it? It's just one of them. Let's check and see which one's loose. Yep. Who's going to look? Um... I'll look. All right. With assistance. Yeah. 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 A perception check, please. Yeah. Oh my gosh, look. <laughs> okay, that's a bit better. Yeah, you guys dig around, 13. looking around the stones, you're like, and this doesn't seem to be anything marked. Mm -hmm. uh. I was hoping it would be an investigation. <laughs> Damn. Well, if someone else wants to try again, you have have another go. You guys just have. Gwyn, do you want to try, and I can assist? <laughs> sure. Let's I could give it a try. Oh, I... for God's sake! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Yeah, sometimes that's how the dice roll. So yeah, fucking dice. Um, Felita, uh, sorry, Gwyn comes over. Sorry, I thought it was Felita, but yeah, Gwyn comes over, and like, kind of like kicks one and goes. This one's loose. He just points at it, <laughs> walks off. Yeah, so one of those. So one of the gonna give Gwen a high five. Like <laughs> hell yeah, we did it. Yeah, so one of the uh, stones is. Having noticed it's loose, loose Gwen bends down to pick it up, but hopefully finds the notebook hidden beneath. All right. So when you start to move it, it actually like slides and reveals a hidden compartment underneath. And mm -hmm. in addition to seeing a little notebook down there, you see a longbow. Um and mm. you can when you kind of look up you notice that next to uh the wall is a quiver of twenty arrows. Um it looks like a really nice longbow as well. Uh-huh. Looks like if you were to fire it, it would be so smooth and slick and nice, it would give you some kind of bonus. It's too bad. I'm not proficient in longbows. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, I have these braces. Woo! <laughs> what do your braces do? Give me proficiency in short bows and long bows. <laughs> and add two damage. Well, there you go. You now have a plus one longbow. <laughs> Woo! And you also do see the some um, like this this notebook with a with scratches, sort of like spiderish almost, you know, long thing. And I'm going to rest those arrows as well. Maybe I'll actually start hitting something. Hell yeah. Belita um is gonna just kind of look around the the joint, mm -hmm. wandering in and out. Just looking for anything out of place, any sign of a rascal or any anything really. Yeah. So in the kitchen, you can see what seems to be the remains of of some what you think was a breakfast. You I mean you don't know what time it was eaten, but it was like coffee and seems to have been some sort of toast, like crumbs left in the sink but not washed up. Um, but um, there's no sign that anything later in the day was prepared in terms of food, which, you know, he could have, like, ate out of the cabin, but you don't think that, there's no evidence that anything breakfast here. Um, in terms of that, he is taken up, actually, in room four over here, was where his bedroom is, and that's the, the bed hasn't been made. I mean, the rest of the place seems, you know, fairly tidy, and also, you can see that, um, there seems to be, like, on the kitchen table, which would normally be a map of the camp, and uh, some notes on there, like the, um, the, uh, let me just check the uh, location quick before I give you any bad information. Yeah, it, um, like, uh, near the lumber yard, it just kind of had a, had a circle around the lumber yard, and then also, um, there was an X by the cave. And then it went down. There's also, you can see on the same map that uh, Alice gave you, 
It just says, um, talk to Steve, and that's written down by the docs. Hmm. And Steve is the co-owner. Mm hmm Yes. While she's doing that, I want to look at, I want to start reading the notebook. Like, what language is it in? Yes, it it's actually in, in common, even though it's written in a very elvish curse, cursive. Um, yeah, yeah. Of course, now my challenge is to find, I only have, like, so, hold on, let me pull up. I actually made a master document, because there were, like, seven different windows with different parts. It's like, here are the buildings, and here's this thing, and here's that thing. I'm like, I am never going to find everything. If I know what I'm looking for. Uh, yeah. Oh, look at that. I just, I pulled it right up. It's so awesome. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. You discover. Oh, wait. Wrong one. Cool thing about this uh, module is that you can actually, like, choose the kind of monster, and you can choose the hook, and you can choose, like, a bunch of stuff. Problem is, mm -hmm. um, there's a whole lot of text to get through when you are looking for things yourself. So, yes, do, what you find is written in this sort of elvish cursive is, it's, it's like a notebook and it says, Notes on the Necronomicon. And oh, in great. there... I was going to joke about that book earlier. You are going to what? I was going to joke about that earlier. <laughs> when Rascal first mentioned the book. Yes, and it says, you know, like, yeah, it is, you know, it's Rascal's stuff on here, and a lot of it seems to be notes on something to do, uh, oh, tell you what, first let's, let's just see how much you're able to kind of, like, figure out from his chicken scratch. Why don't you give me an investigation roll? Okay. I'm sure we'll help. Okay. There you go. Bam. All right. You basically like it's almost like you wrote it yourself. That clear. No. Um it's Am I secretly rascal? And that's just the dead body of a poor man. Oh, you've been and I just reading used... wizards <laughs> script for so long. It's like reading doctor's script. Yes. Come on. <laughs> yes, pretty much. I do know Elvish. Right. So there is um so one of the things you notice about this notebook is that it is well-worn. It's been around for a while. It's got stains on it. It seems to have seen a lot of wear. The binding has been opened and shut so many times. It's actually started to, like, crack. And so as you're going through it, you can see that there are notes in here about a theft. It's, it's, it's um, something called the item for a while in this. Um, because the notes on the Necronomicon are like on the inside. It's not on the outside. <laughs> it's like on the inside page, like titled. Uh, but it seems to be tracking some sort of, well, I should say Rascal was tracking some sort of item, which you assume, because he speaks to kind of like, you know, he doesn't call it the ne Necronomicon a lot because it's hard to spell. So he refers to it as the item um, and trying to find a lead on where it could have gone to after the theft. And there's then some pages with like a bunch of cities and a bunch of names in there. Um, and they're like crossed out. And the one that was left was, um, you know, Steve McNally. I just made that up. Um, and the Clearwater Camp, uh, which is like the last name on the list. And then after that, you kind of flip, flip through a few more pages and you can see that um, he's trying to, there are notes here about ghost stories in the past. And is that tied to just people making it up or is it tied to this location? And that there were some places around the camp he really wanted to get into and, and learn more about and have a look at. Um, however, as you kind of flip through it, you're noticing that especially uh, toward the back, there are pages that look like they've fallen out. Oh, great. Is it useful? Hmm. 
I'm going to relay to them everything I know and mm -hmm. that everything I've read from this and that there's some pages missing. And they look like they just fell out, not like they were ripped or hidden or... It did they just look like they just fell out, or...? Uh, so uh, when you're looking at it, it looks like, again, like that back binding um, is cracked, had cracked quite a lot. And you can actually, like, as you um, open it, like, toward the back, one of a, a, a page just falls out on the floor for you, one of the back pages. It's an empty back page, um, but you can start... This thing is just, like, crumbling before your eyes. These pages could have fallen out if you went to open it somewhere, it, they could have fallen out while he was jumping up and maybe they fell out while you were walking or... How very sloppy. That's what I'm thinking. Hmm. So I think we could maybe find these pages if we retraced his steps. We know he was at the cave. Or if we searched his body. We could check his body, yes. But we also know but he was at the even then, caves. that means the other person got it. Hmm. Well, shall we do this tonight or tomorrow? Let's get some rest. I do want to search his body before we leave, though. I mean, while we're here. Of course, darling. I would expect nothing else from you. <laughs> She's... And that's what I'm going to do, is I'm going to search his body to see if the notes were, like, in his pocket or something. I'll help you. Okay. Yep. Go ahead and give me... I Well, do um, you want to just take a just... 10 on this one? Like... <laughs> yeah. Just... Okay, so, yeah. Um... You don't, well, you, what you find in, in his pockets is, like, the quill that seems to, you know, like, in his little ink pot that he seemed to carry around with him. But yeah. there's no, there seem to be no other page um, on, well, mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's pretty much just his back pockets. His back pockets? Yeah, that's what you're able to get to, because his front pockets are, like, all ripped up, because. Ah, uh, yes. I'm going to bring, like, a, a sheet or something from inside, and I'm going to lie them both down and just cover them both with a sheet. Yeah, there I'm are plenty very, of sheets. Oh, sorry. I'm a very big believer in respecting and honoring the dead. I wouldn't leave them like this. It's grotesque. That is a good idea. And I... I think we should break it to the others very slowly. But I have a feeling at least one of them is going to faint. And you want to prolong her suffering. You know, I do like that about you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I mean, like, break it to them easy, you know? So, not we burnt the corpses and that we that we found their bodies, but let's not tell them what state they were in. Yeah, that's why I'm thinking we dispose of the bodies rather than just leave them here to be disposed. No, that of would later. implicate us. Do not dispose of the bodies. This man came back from the dead to give us fair warning and clues, and you wish to just dispose of him. I say, you are no I gentleman. I don't want him to be picked over by scavengers. Well, then we can bring him inside. All right. So I guess we'll bring him inside. All right. I think it's I think it's kind of funny how when my character does something grotesque, your character's like, "Ooh, so attractive." <laughs> <laughs> She thinks you're a murderer. She thinks you're a literal murderer, and she's impressed. <laughs> she really did, because you killed that she's girl. Gonna be she's going to be disappointed, because she's not a murderer. <laughs> she just has a really big interest. 
<laughs> in murderers and crimes. He's, uh, I'm absolutely, yeah. Lita is absolutely convinced that you're some kind of psychotic killer who <laughs> just happens to be on the hunt of a different psychotic killer. <laughs> there can only be one. All right. So, yeah, you're able to um, bring the bodies inside. There are plenty of bed sheets, just, you know, um, dusty bed sheets. And so you're able to pull some of those off and use part of them to, like, wrap up their, their bodies and also to kind of also transport it so you can kind of get them in a place where they're like, out of the out of the way of any scavengers or other animals that might come so we return to the others let's right. head back before we go Rin turns around puts the stone for the hiding place back in its proper place mm -hmm. then clicks his fingers and puts out the fire Okay, All right, fire out. I've got Boom. some lights on there, but I'll bother turning. Yes. Yeah. So you guys, um, I you want to come out of the building, then? Like, in what order are you gonna come out? I think in the order we were in before. Okay. Yeah, I'll go up first again. Okay. Can you? I still have pass without trace. Okay. Probably <laughs> it's like it. Stays up for several hours, I think. Yeah, it's only been, I mean, it's probably been about an hour. You probably have lost your immunity to the where the slasher had now, but okay. it's been over like an hour, but it's not been long. Um, yep, so um, I'm going to need you guys to like leave, like show me how you're going to leave. Well, Tansy's just going to AFK. But I am assuming... It would be Felita goes out first, then... And heads to the shadows. With Gwyn and Stealthily. Tansy counting to <laughs> ten and then stepping out themselves. Okay. All right, what's, uh, what's Tansy doing? Tansy is AFK. That's why I oh, said okay, Tansy okay. and Gwyn I'm sorry. would wait ten I seconds. I thought she was like, all right, well, um, we're going to you can get ready. I should. Let me get this up. Everyone oh, can no. click on your toe. It's a horror movie. What did you expect? <laughs> <laughs> if you can go ahead, yes, and uh, click on your tokens and click on your initiative. Wow. Precisely Again, the plus last five. One. So okay. it's 16. 16. I can check yeah. that for you. Oh, they did well. Oh, and all their stuff is green. Oh, I just find it so annoying if everything I did was as as if as the DM was whispered because I'd literally have to explain every single role, like read it out to you. Oh, that would be. But you must still have the secret roles that the players don't know. Yeah, I can still do those, but I can also do those like. You know, that's easier than trying to shift the statuses. But there. Yeah. yeah, if Tansy thought, oh yeah, we're just gonna go back to the cabin. <laughs> and he comes back to another fight yes well i can also tell you what you see which you know you can like they haven't noticed um you, uh Zelda, Zelda, sorry but mm -hmm. you see swarms of ravens step out going or you can actually more hear them than you can see them but you can kind of like they have the cawing and fluttering of wings and suddenly they're sort of like a sound and it's getting closer to Oh, this place is so beautiful. <laughs> All right, All right, I'm going to go fill up my wine. Yeah, since... yeah, take a break. Take a break, everyone. Welcome if you got him. Um, so, uh, yeah. Good thing you got that plus one longbow now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so I now have plus four to hit with a bow. Oh, nice. Helpful. Right, I beg I get a drink too, but I don't think I'm gonna have any Hello. sides. Hello. So. I just I really had to go to the bathroom. No, no worries, no worries. I know how Welcome that is. back. We've stepped outside, and Felida has walked straight yep. into massive blocks of ravens. Yeah, I could hear y'all. Oh, okay. Yep. Initiative. 
Uh, click your token first, please. Right. I'm good to mute, and we'll be right back. Okie doke. As soon as I get back, everyone rolls. Yeah, everyone sorry, I didn't even notice. I would have delayed a little bit if I hadn't noticed that you'd delayed. So. What's the dinner situation over there? Do you have to make dinner? No, I don't. Um, I think they're actually gone now. Because they have they have friends from California here, oh, okay. and they were all gonna go to the club tonight. Oh, going so. to the club. Yeah, I was. Yeah, um, I was thinking about going, but um, clubs and bars and crowds make me really anxious. Yeah, stay and play D and D with your nerd friends. Yes, <laughs> and then I remembered oh, I have D and D. I'm going to do mystery murder stuff. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, I'm so bummed. So now that I just gotta figure out dinner for myself. Work. Yeah. Oh yes, yes. That's right. That's so less stress. So what are you gonna have for dinner? I don't know. I do have a free pizza available on my Domino's app. Well, I mean, no. I mean, that's yep. And a weekend pizza which is, free, which is a things. three dollar pizza if I make it a large. <laughs> well, there you go. I am exposing myself <laughs> in my Domino's session. Oh my goodness! Funny. Really? Back? <laughs> yes. Pumpkin, what you doing? Come here. Are you waiting on Christy. Oh, we're waiting on Sib. No, this time we're waiting on Sib. Yes. Okay, just but, checking. No, no, that's fair. You can all figure out what you're gonna do about birds in the meantime. You can like compose your thoughts and plan your strategy. <laughs> Ooh, I I have something that I could use. I have cloud of daggers and flaming spear, so. something I could do. Oh, yeah, both of those sound lethal. I have big blammy. <laughs> big blam. <laughs> Who is... Stick. I should say, is this is a silenced big blammy. Oh, I don't know if blammy can be that silent. If I'm... <laughs> what is a sawed-off shotgun? <laughs> With a mm. silencer? I don't know. What are you like walking around it's, with like a? It's D and D. It's it's a magic sawed off shotgun. Oh, okay. Yeah. If it's yeah. a magic silencer. Yeah. Then the physics doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> it's magic. Okay. All right. So take for everything. They um don't notice uh, Felita, but they notice you two when you come out on the porch. By the way, you're out on the porch now. <laughs> so we need, oh, I need I needed you outdoors so I could attack you. Only... We only got to the porch. <laughs> yes. Um, and then it turns into Hitchcock's The Birds. So um, let me just check. Oh, Fly 50 film. feet. Oh, yeah. They, they've they got plenty of room. One, two. Four. They're just going to surround you and start pecking at you with their little fake beaks. All right. So first to you, Gwen. They're going to, uh, two of them are going to peck at your face. Oh, they miss with a 7, 15. That would hit, but I'm going to be hit. cheeky. Yeah, what are you going to do? Which, would you? Yep. Yeah. going to be cheeky. Yes. <laughs> yeah, then you go, your, your <laughs> AC is um, up for this entire uh, turn. So, yep, till the next turn. So, yeah, you don't take any damage. All right, next up is you. You got beaks coming at, in flying at you. A tansy. They get me. All right. You do tier 10 piercing. Oh, they're just, Ow. oh, they're just biting at your ear and biting at your hair and your arms. Anything that's exposed. They're just like going for it. And oh, fuck. The one just got you right on the nose. Does uh, so total of 24 damage. Uh, and I'm at two damage. Two hit points left. Yep. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, that is their turn. Though. I'm very squishy. They're f hey, yeah, it's third level. This is supposed to scare the shit out of you guys. You should be afraid of dying. That's part of the story. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I'm so scared. And uh, we didn't be a there. tank or a healer, so. 
<laughs> that is true. Yep. And there ain't no one thing you NPCs. need to do is go by the warehouses and steal all the health potions. <laughs> All right. Um, so yes. For the record, Gwyn does not know that the warehouses have potions at the That's moment. That's true. Yeah, only uh, um, Felita knows, I think. Or you did? Yeah, yeah. Actually, she did the intro. All right. Yep. Speaking of Felita, uh, Felita is going to Hunter's Mark. I guess the one that's right in front. Okay. And she's gonna give a couple of um. Oh yeah, big blammy. <laughs> Shit. Oh. Shit. Oh. So fourteen. Yes. Okay. And plus uh -huh. six. Plus a d six. Uh huh. Yep, that's twenty. Okay. Um, oh, plus, sorry, fifteen total. Sorry, I thought it was a fifteen total, right? Fourteen. Oh, but you haven't done your crit damage yet. Yep. That's this one down there. Mm -hmm. And another D6. Yeah, I'm gonna actually like let you take out two of them for that amount of damage. And so, then I kind of want, I just kind of go up against the thing in the darkness. Okay. Yes, yeah, so there's a massive explosion over your head, Tansy. Um, but suddenly you're just, there are dead birds dropping all over you. Because um, she blew, you basically blew out the first swarm, and I assumed you'd want to move your second shot rather than yeah. waste it. So you did enough damage between the two swarms that yeah, she basically just like <laughs> all these dead birds are now fla falling on you in dead bird guts. You can't quite tell what's your blood and what's bird blood at this point. Uh, speaking of Tansy, uh, yeah, it's your turn. Okay, so. Which one? I think I'm just gonna firebolt this this bird. Go for it. Okay. Boom. Oh yeah, that's gonna. Boom. All right. So yep, two damage. Yep. Made a little knock into him. <laughs> Sorry. Um, anything else in your turn? Uh, nope. Okie doke. Then it comes to, uh, Gwyn. Gwyn would like to make the point that the DM deleted the one that was on the turn order. Yeah, I do. Alright, I'll just move them someplace else. Okay, they're back. <laughs> they're back. And then... Gwyn is going to use Scorching Ray. Ooh, okay. So, first one. Oh yeah, that's gonna hit. Is that the one is... directly to your, so to your side? Okay, yep. Uh, I need to hit that for the damage, don't I? Mm-hmm. Alright, six damage. Yep, take a bit of a, and... a, bit of a thunk. No, that's... Ah, sorry. Just try to check the description on that one again. Make sure I got it right. Three ways, three attacks. Ah, oh, yeah, okay, yep. Rays. Four attacks. Oh, wait, I hit. completely forgot to take a potion. And that was six damage. Okay, further 12. Down to like half as many as there were before now. Oh, they weak to fire. Weak to damage. <laughs> and if that was not dead, final uh -huh. scorching way. Okay. All right, and damage. Oh, it's looking really bad, but it's not. It's not over yet. <laughs> not over yet. Oh, have I got still some up. that I can yeah, Still you. flapping. Still Just... flapping it. Just don't attack me because I completely forgot to take a healing potion when I when I meant to. Cause oh yeah, yeah. RD and D and Megan just came home. Don't think I've got something I can do on my bonus action, so I think that is it. All right. Well, then it comes to the swarm of ravens, and the one that you just attacked is going to come back at you, but it's a lot less, in, uh, a lot. It's weaker now than it was. Fourteen hit you. 
Yay, it's me. That is my no, AC. No, 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 that's, uh, I was talking to, yeah, it's going for Gwyn, because it was... That is my AC. Oh, okay. All right, you take a whole two damage on that one. <laughs> and then they get oh one. Gosh. This one has more than half, though. That's this, uh, the full swarm that's standing in front okay, of you. Okay, now I'm following oh. up the shield on that one. Uh, no, you have to, well, I mean, you can do it again. You can, but you, it's, it ended oh, no. with your turn. It's Only like, three damage, not bothering. Uh, yeah, yes. Okay. I, wow. I wouldn't. First level. Uh, so five damage in total. Alita. You're just watching these birds. <laughs> like, just uh -huh. choo -choo, boom. And a whole bunch of ah! fire. <laughs> All right. So um, I move my hunter's mark over okay. to this guy. So... Yep, go in the bottom. Yeah, and then I will take a um another hit with big bull. Oh, oh, damn! Yeah, look at you crit on that. Nice. So I'm gonna just say I go right through like it's a line. <laughs> okay. See how much it does. Uh, oh god! Yeah, you blow them away. You bl completely blow them away. That's I'm total just critting of... the hell out of them. Yeah, 27 damage. Yeah. Right, so this And that hasn't even added my hunter's mark yet, so. Yeah, the first swarm in front of Gwyn is gone. The hunter mark's Gwyn is gone. All that's left is this uh one over here that's like just like two or three birds left. I'll stick back. <laughs> <laughs> You'll sneak back in the head. Okay, so then Tansy, it's to you. See Gwyn still fighting off a couple of these ravens that are dive bombing and trying to pierce him. Hmm. Uh, do they look like they're getting close? Yep. There's only okay. like three of them left. So I'm going to use Jim's magic missile. Then. Okay. So that means you gotta do this manually. Your attack roll, yep, that's gonna hit. Plus six. Oh yeah, you can describe how they die. And then it's two d, two d four. There we go. Yep, you can describe how they. Die. Oh, the missiles just go pew pew pew. <laughs> pew pew <And> pew. <laughs> like in the Lego Movie. Excellent. All right, yeah, that's oh, it. Oh yeah, just like the Lego Movie. Mhm. Mm right, you're out of initiative, order. Oh, woo. All right. So then you're going to head back to uh, the main cabin, huh? Yep. Mm -hmm. And hope we don't get attacked on the way. Yes, that is very Why did true. You say that? <laughs> so I know, I, like, I know how often I'm supposed to roll these things. Do you, um, you should take a potion, dear. Yes, 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 I should. Before we My get only that potion way. left. Oh, I know where how, you can get how many? more. What's they the have dice? them in those W's. So that's it's two D four plus four. Okay. All right. Nine. So I'm at eleven now. Yay. We're about to pass a W. I believe it's W one. So do we want to stop off and grab some potions? Yeah, because that's close by. Are you really sure you want to go checking out where houses in the dark? It's... Well, if we meet something, if we come across something again, I'm going down, and y'all are going to have to carry me. All right, then. We can go. All right, I guess we're going to W1. To, the... to steal some health potions. All right. Um, and I bet we're probably going to find Ned's body there. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, as you are all heading over, walking, I'm going to say, Tansy, you actually notice something catch your eye. It's lying on the ground as you're walking like out of the back door of the cabin. I'm going to say that it has a back door because you're walking out of it now. Um, cause I just did a random, I just did a random roll and, uh, this is what turned up. You see, now that you've known, uh, you see in front of you a piece of paper and you recognize that piece of paper 
from the notebook that you were reading. You swear to God that's the same piece. Ooh. You want to go look. I'm going to point it out to my friends because I feel scared. It's a trap. <laughs> <laughs> In that case, and Quinn's going to go gingerly go over to pick it up. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll, I'll go with you. All right, you go over, you shine a light on it. It seems to have, like, maybe blown out of his book or something, but it got caught up on the base of a tree, and you guys just happened to, you know, be heading in this direction. You took the back part of his exit instead, and yeah, maybe he was back here when he got attacked. But there's a piece of paper. Um, currently, if it is uh, Gwen who's looking at it, you're gonna have a kind of hard. I mean, kind of hard time seeing it in the dark to read it properly. Gwen can't read Elvish me. anyway. So yeah, he's going to. Assuming he picks it up, he's passing it to Tansy. Tansy, Tansy. Yeah, where did that A come from? <laughs> I will uh, read over your shoulder and give you advantage. Hey. So, um, yes, you find it seems to be uh, the, after the section where he's talking about the Necronomicon, he has several, uh, uh, this page has a lot of notes on a creature called an undead abomination. Mm -hmm. And in the notes, it says that it's from like from my research, what I can tell is that it's incredibly powerful and resistant to non-magical damage. Mm. I'm gonna. Which I forgot. I actually I'm gonna relay that. <laughs> I actually forgot it was not. Yeah, I don't know if your gun was supposed to be quite as powerful, but it was impressive the first time. Okay, it was fine. Uh, sorry, what was that? Oh, um, I'm going to relay that to everybody else ah. and then say, I think that is what the um, the slasher is. That does make sense. Usually, I if I hit something with Big Blamey twice, it dies. Well, I just so need to hit it. It didn't die. Hmm. Well, that makes me rather, um, useless to you, too, doesn't it? You still do damage, just not as much, so it's still helpful. And if you want, you can have this longbow. It won't make much difference to me. Are you sure? I'm sure. I am a sorcerer. And I've still oh. got the other longbow if push comes to shove. Well, thank you. I'll take it. I think that that is um, good thinking. Also saves me swapping the achievement. <laughs> mm. Alright, so now I have a plus one... Longbow. Longbow, which and... is also... I'm sorry. sorry. Yeah. yeah, there were some... Um, there were 20 arrows that weren't... I wanted to make sure what they were made of, but I had to go to the right... Nope, that Exploring. Nope, it's keyed location. So I'll just make sure it's um, what kind of arrows are, but you can add them to. And when you get to the um, when you get to the warehouse, yeah. What do you What do you want? It, it, you can basically like they have an outside lock, but I'm just gonna have you guys like just be, take a ten on getting into it, opening mm -hmm. up the warehouse. It's out here in the nowhere. Yep. And so basically, what do you want? Well, we're looking, first of all, for our healing potions. Okay. Healing potions. Go ahead and give me an investigation check to see if you can find the healing potions in, this, in this building. <laughs> yeah, so you're able to see. They're actually put up kind of in the back in a sort of a hidden place, probably because they're... Well, well I mean, they're... Fairly valuable, but they, um, yeah, and so you find a case, go ahead and roll me three, so there's a, like a, almost like a, 
Ah! What do you call that when you have a, um, the plastic thing that you haul plastic bottles in? The plastic container, plastic bottle. Not a canister. A crate? Kind of like a, a box. crate. Yeah, I guess. But it looks like it has 18 slots. So go ahead and roll me three D6s. Oh. Okay, three D6. Wow. Yep, it's half full. So there are eight potions of heat. And there's three of us, so... Um, I am, I'll only take one to replace the one that I have. If you guys um, want to split up the rest, because you're probably squishier. So that means... So you take one, so that's seven now. So you take four and I take three. Okay. Alrighty, Daddy. And I'm actually gonna drink one of those. Okay. So that I also have three. Yeah, the. So 2d4 plus four. It's almost like as you guys go back, well, when you go walking to the warehouse, the, cl the that fog that you kind of felt and sensed, it's almost like now the clouds have come over. It's almost like. Entire camp is developed, sort of like sky, you know, sky fog and ground fog. Not misty. It's like you, can, you visibility is fine, but when you look farther off into the way off into the distance, it gets hazy. You mm -hmm. can see in the deeper parts of the forest that it gets, especially farther out of camp. Okay, let's get back to the cabin as fast as we can. Is the longbow a plus one to yes. to damage and? Yep. Yeah, so you guys can head back over. It's uh, how are you heading? Are you sneaking? Are you just walking? Should we get back as fast as possible, or should we still? Or should we, like, just leisure? Well, I don't think leisurely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then let's, let's, let's go as fast as we can. Just so we can get back and rest. So you're basically going to... Right. So, um, yeah, you head back. Um, get back to the cabin. Actually, like, okay, so you go through the woods. It's very dark. Um, it mm -hmm. seems unusually still. You can also occasionally hear splashes, though, on the lake as you walk around it. You can't see anything when you look out across the lake. That you can, you know, if it's fish jumping or something else, every sound startles you. Every star, every sound. Happens. And when you finally see the warm glow of the big cabin, you're quite relieved to see Alice and Bill still inside, huddled near the fireplace. Bill has and gotten Jack. Uh, yeah, and Jack. Jack is taciturn. Uh, but well, we don't care about Jack. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, they're all kind of tooled up. They all have like, like, uh, cricket bats and badminton rackets and things, whatever they could find, like with just by looking through the rooms. I'm like, what, what is everything okay? Were you able? To, what were you able to find? Well, we found the notebook. <laughs> We found Red Book. We found Ravens. What? Ravens. We got attacked by birds. First bears and now ravens? This is wrong, <laughs> y'all. It's, totally it's a up. little more wrong. I believe it's the evil of this Necronomicon, or whatever it is. It's uh, riling up the animals. I couldn't even talk sense to the bears. I wonder if this is anything to do with the accident Mr. Coates was on about. Hmm? Oh, Mr. Coates, he's out here all by himself. Oh, God. He's in danger. We'll have to worry about it in the morning. Oh, and we took all the health potions from 
the warehouse on the way because we oh kind my of need goodness them. oh that's fine i mean this is life or death situation here you can have whatever you want from where oh okay that makes things easier i'm quitting i don't care i'm quitting this job i'm survive this i'm out i'm not staying in this camp anymore you can give me my my pay and the pay pay paycheck and i'm leaving yeah totally man we decided that while you were gone it's way too dangerous for, like better than minimum wage you know i mean i thought i was just signing up for like having fun with kids and like doing stuff but i didn't sign up for this now you're having fun with ghosts and an abomination i don't think our definition of fun is the same as theirs oh she's she's just a different sort I look at you almost <laughs> adoringly. <laughs> anyway, um, we should uh, rest in completely oblivious. Shifts. We should just rest in shifts. Um, because we do need... Even so, my dear. Even so. I'll put up my dolly, too, so that if anyone comes near us... So we should all huddle around the fireplace. And if anyone comes near, I'll put her by the door. If anybody tries to open the door, she'll say, Bitches, get your asses up. <laughs> 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 all right. So who's taking first watch? Um, I'm going to go ahead and cast alarm. Okay. At the door. Which door? The front door. The front door. Okay. All right, well, I guess alarm. I'll put mine in a different spot than, like, by the windows. Same thing. Yeah, by the main window. It does seem to be plenty of doors to get in. So you got this one, this one, this one, and this one. In addition to the front doors. Yeah, they have the little porches. Little porches you can see lit up. One uh, let's, um... I put... can cast it again. In a different spot. Let's um put some uh, things by the doors then, like um chairs or other things. Block everything. Yeah, sure. Got to two chairs there. I can see, and then looks like a couch. Walk I'll have off. the men folk go and do that one. We'll we'll cover yeah, all. We're the ones work. setting up ex other security. Yeah. <laughs> all right, kind of lock down your space for the evening. And uh, yeah, I'll I'll take first watch. I don't care. All right, can I have a perception check? Ooh, uh, with a plus two to it. Okay. Good, because <laughs> it's crap. Uh, you hear rustling in the. And it seems to, you you hear it coming out of uh, basically like this side. Which then, side? Uh, sorry, it's banging, uh, sorry, down here, this direction. Okay. Um, but as you listen, it makes its way, it seems to be circling. Mm. It seems to be kind of like, yeah, plotting its way. It does a full 360. And for a while, you don't. Then you hear it again. You hear it kind of shuffling. Who goes next? Win. All right, so Win I'll tell you all the things that I heard. <laughs> Fair enough. Perception check. <sighs> If I roll a 19 again. <laughs> All right. You also hear, it doesn't sound like plotting. It actually sounds like multiple feet. S something is moving. Something is kind of like, you hear it moving through the woods almost like several feet. Several, not in distance, but sound of footsteps. Um, and then it goes quiet for a while. Uh, and then you can hear kind of like. And then it moves. Up. 
your watch. This is my turn. Perception check. Yeah. Luck. <laughs> God damn it. Deception is, you know, people are talking about much sounds they heard. You didn't hear anything. Really quiet. And that's your watch. She's gonna like hold up her wand in a defensive position because she's like, that's <laughs> suspicious. We're gonna wake up in the morning, leave the rooms, and see a very stressed out Tansy. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, then in, when your watch is over, um, Bill and, and Alice both kind of have woken up. They couldn't really sleep that much anyway. And uh, Bill yeah. goes over, kind of like starts making coffee. Alice will sort of like, yeah, take up a position looking out the window. She said, um, how long have we been asleep? How long have we? I thought we were going to do the last watch. Uh, at most, it should be 12 hours. Tansy, you were kind of, like, really on edge. You didn't notice, but Alice is like, it's still dark out. It's still as dark as it was when I went to sleep. Look, come out, look out this window. I can't see any we're crack. Go look. Yep, and it is, there is no sign of dawn. It is pitch hmm. black out. Great. Might as well be midnight. Hello, lair action. <laughs> it's all very magical, isn't it? It's disconcerting. Mm. So, um, it is now going on like quarter to three in the morning for me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, wow. I really thought we would get through a lot more, but I hope you guys at least kind of had fun despite the... oh yeah okay oh yeah um so yeah we'll have to like find maybe a weeknight or something um or some other time where we can coordinate keep running this i mean if you guys are into your horror i don't know if you feel at all freaked out i've been trying to freak you guys out a little. <laughs> so, but um yeah i think we're gonna i mean is it okay to call a night or for everyone else yeah, yeah. absolutely it's it's just been you know there's been um Technical difficulties. Yes, There's now been technical difficulties. Yeah. It's been quite. I will say, I've actually quite enjoyed this. Because yeah, it's fun. A few people just yeah, feels a little fun. bit more intimate, if that makes sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm mm. having fun too, and I've got the whole adventure already prepped. So <laughs> now I just know that I can't do. Sadly, I can't do interactive, I, uh, dynamic yeah. lighting. With like three characters and everything else, but the nighttime lighting is cool, so we yep. can kind of keep going with that. Yeah, when whenever I play a a one shot, I always expect it to not be a one shot because it never is. <laughs> yeah, never. So, yep, that's fine, and I think you did a great job. You know, right. with everything that you had to deal with, it was a real pain in the ass. And thanks for your patience while things got yeah, delayed yeah. and stuff. But we did figure it out in the end, and then we could just focus on that. Yeah, cool. All right. Well, um, yeah, I, I, I guess if you wanted to go back, I actually, like, rolled to see what was what encounters were you were going to have, like, while your watch was going on. But I figured you guys, well, I wanted to, you to figure out that it was perpetually the night, so. <laughs> mm. and wake up to <laughs> horror oh no there's no safe place anymore oh, no. <laughs> and on that bomb especially show, for the human in the group yeah yeah it sucks to be you <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh no. no so yes until I guess next time when it's part two of Camp Clearwater the massacre I'm gonna say uh, yeah goodbye from me and goodbye from the party Say goodbye, party. Goodbye, goodbye party. party. Goodbye, party. Hey, they did the thing.